What's happening everybody and welcome to this 10th episode, the live special episode of the Combro Stations podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Eddie, along with my bro with the most below Sheps. How's it going, bro? It's going great. How's it going? It's going great. Today's our 10th, uh, sorry, our 10th episode and our half birthday yes. stream that we're doing. Yep. And we're doing this live for those of you guys that we missed are. this in the live version. Um, it's hopefully going to be quite good. It's only been like an hour so far or half an hour even. And I'm, I'm excited to And this is our second back after the calamity. So we're in person and now add the pressure of being live. Yes, yes, But yes. we have two mics, so the we audio do. should be good. Should be good. Let's let's not count our chickens, yeah. but should. If this <laughs> sounds like it's done on the internal microphone of a camera, it might well be. Exactly, exactly. Um, before we get too far into it, yeah. what do we have to do? We do actually need to thank the people that made this possible. Mm -hmm. Not just the live show and the channel stuff, but the podcast itself. Our incredible patrons over on patreon.com forward slash conversations. Who do we have to thank? We have Jeremy Renner. Uh, we've got Diogo Dildo, who changed his name to Loves a Lobster Up His Ass. I mean, fair enough. Who doesn't? Who doesn't, really? That's uh, my fetish. Dan the Man, Record Friction, Ashton... <laughs> I'll explain the joke to this in a second. And Catsper, the friendly patron, who's a, a, a his name is Geralt of Rivia, aka Catsper Coral. I cool. like that. Do name all of one. Ashton's, man. So Let's see this. Ashton's one is Ashton, aka the Weekend Simp. But I do not simp on conversations because they suck. The reason why he did that was because in the As Always podcast, I realized my name in the Patreon list comes right. after his, and he goes Ashton, uh, Ashton, aka the Weekend Simp, and I went. But I simp on conversations more. That's what I put my right, name as, right, right. so they read it that way. And then he messaged me. He's like, "Fuck this guy! Fuck nice. this guy!" Nice. <laughs> so then he made this and everything. See, I was gonna go on as always and do the the patron thing, but I thought, well, you do it. And the only reason I was gonna do it was to like beef them out with conversations marketing. Yeah, I do that as well. Right. You have to. But I the one thing that I actually watched like properly, and and fucking Tyler didn't do it. Mother so I was like, fucker. well, if he's not going to read out my, my like, as always is okay, but you know who I really prefer, it's conversations type stuff, then, you know. What's my money going to in right, the first exactly. place? So frick those guys. <clears throat> frick those guys right there. Um, yeah, so as we were saying just before we got started, the fucking pubs are opening up in the UK. Yes. And the way that they announced it, they were like, guys, because yeah, it's almost like the British public had just been waiting, they're like... Where's the, where's the pubs? Where's the, I like, guys, saw this whole like, oh, you can, you, you can. need to social distance. That's happening. Exactly. When you go to the pub, opening at 6 a.m. I was like, who the fuck is going to the pub at 6 a.m.? Have you ever drunk at 6 a.m. other than when you were drinking the night before? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, same no you, don't, you don't start at 6. No. You're continuing and it happens to be 6. It's yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. shit, what time is it? 5.59? Oh shit, well okay, well we'll continue yeah, drinking yeah, yeah. then, that's what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. And when I saw that I was like, wow, that's really, I hope this doesn't spread throughout like Europe and whatnot. They're gonna see us and be like, oh, these guys Oof. over in Britain. I feel like so I feel like Europe has a strong drinking heritage as well. Like I feel like the Germans are probably doing the same thing, France, you know, like we're, we're all Belgian. France I could see a nice wine with breakfast or something oh, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, right? That's the, the way they see it. Yeah, yeah. I just want to say, Normally, we, I think we're going to go through sections and then read comments, but Fiji, Senor Pantaloons himself, just said something that did actually make me feel really good. I don't know why I want to tell you. He said, when you're feeling sad, remember there's a Range Rover getting about the UK with the number plate, you sausage. <laughs> really? I guess you saw it, and it made me laugh. It made me laugh. It cracked me up. You need to know. But it's spelt like the letter U, S-05-A-G-E. Perfect. So good. That's pretty good. Well, imagine paying money for that because license plates are expensive as well. Yeah. Like, imagine going, do you know what? For the laughs, for the laughs. Right, Nick, you sausage. I want to be a couple hundred quid down, yeah, you know? You sausage. <laughs> then again, who am I to talk about wasting money? I pre ordered the Cyberpunk 2077 chair. Yeah, you did. You did. In fact, last night was poker night and you were trying to shot your current chair. Yeah, I had my current chair and we have all the lads around and I was like, guys, you guys like this chair, right? Oh, so this... you just got that Secret Labs like... It's like six months old. Yeah. It's not even that old. Like, it's... You, you look at it, you would think, okay, that's a brand new chair someone's brought. It hasn't even got an arse dent in it's it yet. It's barely into double digit parts. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> but the Cyberpunk chair is something special. It is really something special. If you look at it on the Secret Labs nice. where, uh, website, it's beautiful. Um, there are some influencers out there that got one for free, and I was like, Mother. 
Mm. All this work and nothing. And also, I thought Fishy would have been the one to get one. Fucking 200 sub, 200k subs over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. These people are like 50k subs. I'm what? like, the fuck are you? What? 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 Fishy, you see, this is why this is why you need to make cyberpunk content. That's what I, I'm saying. I will say, actually, the one thing you're doing wrong that we're doing right is yeah. we're shamelessly reaching out to everybody. That's, that's true. That's how we get things like, you know, press passes and swag one day or uh, it'll be something really yeah. sick I one mean, we day we should have done that really raid sick. legends thing that's true we did get the opportunity to do the raid shadow legends and it even if it didn't because uh, apparently Wait, you the most been... ambitious tabletop rpg no what was it, it? Was mobile, mobile game yeah, yeah, yeah the greatest mobile game ever created that's yeah the that, that's the one yeah. right there that's the one sponsored by no it's not it's not <laughs> but that would have been funny for the meme as well yeah. been like just getting our faces in the most cheesiest way we're like Everyone go and play Raid Shadow Legends. Right. That would have been good. We should have done it. <laughs> we're actually in the podcast. We're just chatting like we're not chatting. What's our first topic? Uh, no, well, I'm just... Uh, this is what our podcast is, just chatting shit. I but did we wanna... can normally cut the shit out. Normally the we problem, can. Normally we can. I'm going to... Um... I'm going to do something for you. So I decided it would be fun to do a would you rather section. Okay. Um, do you have your phone about? Because I want to set it as a timer while I read off of my phone. Yeah. And I'm going to do two minutes of would you rathers with you. And you're going to see how many of these you can get through Okay. in that two minutes. And then you ask, ask them to me as well. Wait, wait. They're going to be different ones for you. Different, yeah. yeah There's right, a, I've cool. got a list of like fucking 50 here or something like that. Right, so we'll it. see would how you many rather? you can do. Let we me should, hold on to that. We should do <clears> another 50-50 video. That would be really funny. All right. Would you rather? Yeah. Um, I picked this out from a website. There's a lot of websites out there that do like safe for work ones. And I was like, that's no fun. What? That's no What's fucking the point? fun. What's the point? Really? And I was like, this one had a healthy mix. I was like, this could be cool, and that's fucking disgusting. So I'll, I'll go right, for that. Right, I'll right. go for that. All right. Okay. Would you rather, guys? Two minutes, starting now. Would you rather have finger-sized nipples or nipple-sized fingers? Finger-sized nipples. Finger-sized nipples, right there. What was that? Uh, would you rather eat chocolate-flavored shit or shit-flavored chocolate? Oh my days. Shit flavored chocolate. Shit flavored chocolate. Yeah. Really? Because it's not shit. <laughs> but it's not shit. It doesn't just matter hold your if it nose. Tastes just it. hold your nose and oh, jump. Fucking disgusting. Um, w would you rather shit on someone or have someone shit on oh, you? Oh, shit on someone. Shit. On yeah. Would you be able to? I mean, the other is it a baby? Like, cause a baby, oh, you're like, ah, it's, you're like, it's gross, but you're like, ah, it's a baby. If it's like, if fucking Jerry Wait. from the office is go just gonna. So you would rather shit on a baby? No, I'd rather shit on... Oh, the baby shit on you, okay. No, you... I'm saying if it was a baby and a baby shits and it gets on you, you're like, ah, it's a baby, right? If it's our brer that's coming and, and laying a brick on you, that's totally different. <laughs> All right, here we Obviously. go. Obviously. Would you rather have sex with a hideous person or a beautifully fre beautiful fresh corpse? Oh, sh... I'm gonna... No... Pass. I'll clip this to your I'll mom. take, I'll take I'll the hideous to... person, yeah. At least really? they're alive. At least they're alive. Okay, yeah. there you go. Diogo, you've got a chance. Um, uh, would you rather go bright purple when embarrassed yeah. or sweat as much, sweat so much that you soak your clothes? Purple. Purple, obviously. Yeah. That's, a, that's a nice one. Would you rather fart every time you laugh or burp every time you cry? Burp. Yeah? Because that's like, it's going to happen once. Exactly. Um, I can you... tell you. I can tell it's you not that bad. I can tell you the date that I last cried. Yeah? Yeah, August 1st, what 2018. My dog died. Oh. That's the last time I cried. Look, oh. so, like, I know, that's how rare it is. That is so I'll rare. take burp. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh, and also, no one really cares. It's like, okay, it's a little disgusting. Who cares? But farting everywhere. Right. Fuck that when shit. You're, when you're laughing, that's Crop gonna dusting kill, everywhere. kill every joke. <laughs> also, what if you're telling a joke and you know how some people crack up as they're telling the joke? Yeah. You'd be like, and so the vicar said to... <laughs> right. <laughs> terrible. Awful. All right. Uh, what's the next one? Yeah. Be good. Would you rather eat your family pet or kill your parents? I need to do a decide in the moment. No, come on! I guess I eat the pet. Eat the pet! Ooh, okay. Depends on the circumstances. Are we talking Last of Us or like are we locked in a shipping container? Do you know what I mean? Ooh, locked in shipping container. I eat the pet. Eat the pet? Yeah. Alright, to survive. Yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da, what's the next one? Uh, would you rather have sex with someone with really bad BO or bad breath? Uh, breath, because you can turn them away, innit? 
That's true. Put their hat, put a bag yeah. over their head and yeah. one or something like that. Just like yeah. head straight into the pillow. Yes, yeah. doggy yeah. style as well. They're yeah, further yeah. away from yeah, me. Yeah, it's, exactly. fine. it's fine. There we go, guys. All right. Uh, that was um, how many questions did you get through? You no got through idea. seven there. You okay. got through seven. Oh, sorry, I wasn't eight there. Eight there. Sorry. Was, we weren't trying to blast it. We were you pausing it the was timer, all about, by the every way. Every now and again, yeah, yeah, yeah. but but there was it's good for the fun yeah, of it. Cool. it? There was eight there. So if you read from nine onwards, okay. that's going to be my ones. Um, <laughs> you guys feel free to judge Sheps of me on the shit that we say right here. This could uh, this could be fun. This could be fun stuff. Right oh, here. this you started on the bad one, all right? Two minutes okay. starting now. Would you rather see your other half in a porn video or your parents? Oh, fuck! Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh god! Um, you didn't answer, man. My, oh, my parents! Because I, I don't want to have sex with someone who has already... Oof. It's been railing like, oh no, fuck, no, 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 parents, no, no. Would you rather cheat and be caught or be cheated on and never be told? Wow. I think... Wow. Cheat and be... Cheat or have be cheat or never be told, right? Because yeah, you, you, no, you don't know. never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, would you rather wear someone else's dirty underwear or use their toothbrush? Oh uh, no, toothbrush. I, I mean, the dirty underwear. I'm feeling it on my nuts already, like skid marks yeah. and shit like uh, that. No, uh, no, 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 no. Your ones are way worse than mine. Oh. Ones. Yeah. <laughs> would you rather have a one-minute conversation with your past self or your future self? Oh shit. Future self. I know how much of a dickhead I was yeah, back yeah, in the day. That. Fuck that guy. God, that Fuck kid's that getting guy. slapped. Exactly. It's like, no. <laughs> uh, if you could reincarnate yourself, would you rather come back as a human or an animal? I think an animal. It's got to be freeing, right? But then like again, you could be prey as well. Yeah, 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 if yeah. you're fucking something terrible, like a fucking... I don't know, like a, a rodent on the side of the road, that you oh, shit. Not good. A hedgehog. Oh, not, not good. great, not great. Uh, would you rather not have sex for a year or have it every day of your life but not orgasm ever? What was the first part? How, once no, a year? No sex for a year. No sex for a year? Yeah. No. I could survive a year. Yeah. I mean, I'll jizz myself a lot in, the, in, in my Are sleep. You're allowed to, you know, so DIY it. Um, <laughs> Would you rather be constantly itchy or constantly sticky? Oh, Yours are that's, way worse than yeah, mine. That's I'm like, oh, terrible. do you kill your parents or your dog? Like, would you rather be sticky, <laughs> itchy? Fuck. That's fucking terrible. Always itchy is probably really bad. And but sticky, always sticky. That's even. I feel like sticky's worse. Sticky's I've got eczema, a... and I would choose my eczema over being sticky. Yeah, let me Let's go for that. itchy, even though that would still be hell. That yeah. would still be fucking would hell. Would you rather spend the day wearing wet socks or spend the day with a popcorn kernel in your teeth? Oh, wet socks. Yeah. Popcorn kernel in your teeth is terrible. In, imagine if it's the one at the back of your throat, innit? Oh, right at the back. Uh, constantly like... Yeah, uh, trying to drink something and dislodge it. Mm -mm, not Let's working. See, we got to 16. We so got I think to we 16 did. From, from 8, so another Same. 8 as well. Same. Yeah. Fucking, we nailed it. All right, we're going to have to go for a, another a tie round. Breaker, yeah, a tie another, breaker. Another round, round of a tiebreaker, boys. <clears throat> we're going to do... I think another round, and then that will be the decision, hopefully. Unless we go. Are we trying to get through as many as possible? Because that isn't how either of us are presenting this. We're just asking them. I think we're doing it for for comedy as well. Yeah, but I was you know, say, like, but because I if could there's just be a winner, like, I'd just be like the first one, <coughs> one, 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 <laughs> one. Come on, man, give me, me going. But if there's fun in, if there's a winner in it, that's gonna be cool as well. I do love that we both have pop sockets. I could just be like, yeah. Yo. We need to, boys. Let me know. I want genuinely a true game of pop socket or the orange with the microphone. That would be like, cool. I, I, we got to look into that. Right? It we would did, go so well. We did. What did we do? We looked into it. Oh, no. We needed to order like 100 of them, didn't we? And it was just too much. Yeah, they were like, oh, you yeah. need to buy it in bulk. And we're like, we, 100? Who's going to buy it? Who's going to buy that? We can guarantee that there'll be 98 left. <laughs> you know, but like... <laughs> Oh boy! All right, let's do another one. You guys enjoying this? Yeah, the guys are. <laughs> the guys are enjoying this. Max is saying that yeah, one with the Conversations logo. Yeah, I can see that Converse and Two Gamer would, would look sick. Right, let's let's find. Let's, Thank let's you everybody for being here. By the way, you're awesome, bros. Okay. And <clears throat> Nate to Lawrence in the live chat because boys, remember if you listen to some podcast services around the world, please react five stars. But it is live because it's the tenth episode on our half birthday. Mm -hmm. And Ed Nate to Lawrence just said, "Would you rather hug Leonardo?" Hug Leonardo. I did another name thing, Leonardo. <laughs> Would you rather hug Neil Leonardo, Leonardo or be a bitch like Eddie? So fucking bastard. I think I'd rather Son, hug Son, go him. to your room. Go to your room. <laughs> Never come out, okay? Never come out. Let me just close this so I can see the stream if anything goes wrong. There we go, cool, right there. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> okay. 
Are you ready, good sir, yeah, for round two? Let's do this. Here we go. Round two, boys. Round two. And time starts now. Would you rather drink two liters of piss or two liters of sweat? Sweat. Sweat. Oh, I'm actually not oh. sure. <laughs> how high, how dehydrated is the guy? This is probably like, really dehydrated. Yeah, then I'll go for yeah. <laughs> It's a Wolverine it's level dehydrated. Okay. Nah, nah, nah. All right. <laughs> All right, next one. Um, would you rather lick someone's armpit or have someone else lick your armpit? Someone can lick my armpit. Frick that guy. Do you know, that'd be pretty disgusting, but it's disgusting for them yeah, more yeah, than yeah, it is yeah, for absolutely. me. Uh, da, 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 da. Would you rather have a 10 inch long belly button that swayed to music or accordions for legs? Accordions for legs. The yeah. thing's disgusting. What's wrong with you? In it. Fuck it. Oh, Swayed to music. It was like a sentient. Dumb. So strange. Um, oh, sorry. Could you uh, give me your thumb? Yeah. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Would you rather be constantly naked or always have people watch you uh, have sex? Naked. Sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you don't need to judge me. I mean, I'm, I'm, pre sex. I'm presuming that I'm somewhere like warm. Like if I'm in Florida, frick it, I'll just I'll just free ball it everywhere. What by like? Winter time in or the UK. England, yeah, exactly. Then maybe I watch this. Either way, <laughs> I'm down. Like I don't really give. A, you know. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> Would you rather be just friends with someone you love or marry someone you hate? Just friends. Just friends. Nah, marry someone you hate. But then you marry someone you have to fucking hate them. You're like, gonna fucking hate everything you say. But hate fucking. Nah, I feel, like, I feel like you'd rather be friends because at least you can spend time with someone you actually like and get on with. Like, there's saying there, boys. If, if you go and... Imagine r hating the idea of going home. Yeah. yeah that's got to be I fucking soul-crushing, right? I that's worse. By the way, Ashton says, well, Sheps is always naked anyway. He is under the it's desk true. in all of our videos, so... It's true. There you go. I mean, I'm yeah. naked right now under all these clothes. Exactly. Slut. Slut. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue. Um, would you rather be born with an elephant trunk or a giraffe neck? Elephant trunk. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because like a freaking hand. Are you exactly. kidding me? That's a superpower. You fucking great. Idiot. You also Dumb. get. Do you reckon you also get to like drink can... the water as fast as oh, they do? Well. Sick. I was thinking, can you like fucking you train it like a muscle so you can like bench press with? Oh. Do you know what I mean? You like triple bench pressing. <laughs> like I bench press four hundred kilos. Blood. Come at me! Come at me! <clears throat> Just that was a serious back slap. Like, wow. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. What's the next one? Uh, would you rather never leave the country or leave and never come back? Leave and never come back. Yeah, there's plenty more places out there. That yeah, you there's, there's a lot of great places in the world. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> would you rather eat poison ivy or handfuls of wasps? I feel like you're not getting all the wasps if you're chewing. Yeah. Poison ivy... I'm going to go with the wasp. I, th I think I'm going with the wasps. Okay. Uh, would you rather be stranded on an island alone or with the person you hate the most? So me. Hate the most because they're food. Ah, oh, there you go. You can eat them. There we go. And that's all of that. And they're you rations, got two. <clears throat> you got two twenty-five, which was from 17. So that's th you got eight as well there as well. Another eight. So this is great. Okay. Right. <clears throat> so you got to go from 26 onwards. All right, guys. Wasps can be killed, and uh, as they say, and the poison ivy, you just can't do anything about it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You can. I feel like you have a chance against the wasps. Exactly. And like the person you hate the most, you're killing two birds with one stone. Well, you're killing one guy and living on your own. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> Twenty six. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Would you rather crap yourself once a year in public or every day in private? Fuck. Once you're in public. Yeah, once it's, it's, once in public. Fucking one also, time embarrassment, that's it's it. It's planned content, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's oh, just God. a prank. <laughs> it's all fake, guys. It's I not really commit. shit. I just commit. It's just chocolate flavoured shit. <laughs> would you would you rather have vaginas in your armpits or an armpit between your legs? I feel like that's for women, but I mean I would always I'd like to try to have a vagina one time. But in your armpit? I mean, if I don't get a choice, I'm gonna go for vagina in the armpit. I'm gonna give that yeah. a shot. I'm gonna stick a, you know, those massive like dragon dildos and stuff like that. I wanna give that a shot. The biology of that made me wanna fucking puke. <laughs> I'm not even lying. And now I'm thinking like dragon dildo now in the I'm armpit. Thinking, like, well, what yeah, are you gonna do? Right. Like instead of deodorant, you're gonna need like sanitary products. <laughs> Let me just get a, a maxi pad. Let me just stick that Disgusting. on there. Disgusting. <laughs> you still get periods from your elbow. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. From your armpit. <laughs> 
boys, I'll just give them a chance to, to let that come out. And all. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. go on. Would you rather have a bell go off every time you're horny or never get horny? That one's oh. easy. That one's easy. Are you dumb? A bell go off? Go yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it'll be fucking comical as well at yeah. some point. Like, it'd it'd be, just be like, ding, 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 babe, look. It's awkward, though, because what if you get horny when you don't want to like get horny? Like on the horny? bus next to an old lady or something. Next to an old lady, I go to meet your mum. Obviously, I always get horny when I right, see your mum exactly, and whatnot. Exactly. And that would be very awkward for me and you. You it's knowing true. that it's I'm true. horny. It's true. Well, I know because you're meeting my mum. Ex- well, so. yeah, I mean, we don't it's say assumed. it, though. We don't it's say it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. We don't say it. Instead like, of like, you lean in and be like, bro, I'm bare horny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> would you rather be the recipient of a bukake party or throw a bukake party? I throw one. Well, yeah, that that was, easy. That was I would easy. definitely be like, yeah, let's just get in here. Easy. I don't worry, I'll clean the sheets afterwards. Don't worry biscuit. about it. She's the biscuit. <laughs> would you rather drown or burn to death? Fuck. It's got to be drowned, but I hear that's terrible I as feel well. Like, I feel you. Yeah, that's the Both of them are fucking would you? Would you rather fulfill your biggest wish or resolve your biggest regret? Resolve my biggest regret? Nah, you're an idiot. Nah, man. Resolve you're, my biggest regret. Idiot. Do you know how I'm fucking haunted by I'm my regrets? Business. What's your biggest regret? Mate, terrible shit. Terrible. I'm an awful person. I'm a terrible person. I know you, and that's a lie. No, I... <laughs> there you go. No, I mean, there's opportunities that I would like totally be like, fuck, I wish I went back on that. It's sort of like business stuff and whatnot. Like that doesn't like count. That. We're talking like that one time you you like you ignored a phone call from your grandparent, but then that was the last oh. phone call. Right? That's the biggest regret. Not like oh, I wish I'd invested in Bitcoin no. in two thousand and seven. <laughs> I wish I'd pulled out of Bitcoin before it went down. Right, right. right. <laughs> or like oh man, I wish I'd invested no, in property in twenty eleven. There's personal shit that I just wish I'd be like no. Don't do that fucking shit. Don't do it. Nah, I'm a I cunt. totally, I totally disagree. I would go for my biggest wish because all that dumb shit's made me who I am now. Right. That's a good point. Good point. And I'm not a complete cunt, so I don't have any of those deep regrets. I do wish I'd spoken to my like grandparents and shit more, mm. but I mean, fuck those guys. I want to be a trillionaire. Exactly. You fuck know what them. I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> Dead grandma. Old people, <laughs> fucking boomers. Dad, uh, yeah, see you, grandma. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks to be you, now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dan. Uh, let's see, hold on. Um, would you rather drink a cup of your mum's period blood or your dad's sperm? This is oh so Oh my fun. god! You definitely got the worst one. Mate! No, it's period blood, but still I'm fucking killing myself afterwards. Well, yeah, you have to. I'm just going to top myself Isn't after it? that. Just kill yourself before. Just, uh, fuck it, mate. See ya, mum. <laughs> would you rather be a superhero or a wizard? Superhero. Yeah. I'm my Superman Absolutely. guy. Don't worry, wizard is great as well, but... Yeah, or like, let me rephrase that. Would you rather get invited to Hogwarts or like you develop a quirk and go to, to UA? I'm going to tell you, I'm not, the, I'm not as big of a fan of Ho- uh, Harry Potter as pe- other people Harry are. Harry Potter, like wizard school or superhero school? I'd superhero school. But what if you got like a shitty power? What if it was like, oh, you can talk to animals like that? Like, yeah, that, that's not cool. That's or not like cool. Or like the sellotape dude. Or okay, sticky then hair like balls. learning you know I mean? magic is cool. Like, yeah, right, do you know yeah, what I, I mean? That, like I one, that. one I feel like is physical training. Like you can get stronger. You yeah. just work on your magic or whatever. You do reps of fucking homework. The other like... Reps of, of wand right. waving. <laughs> the other, if you get a shitty power, like... I mean, what is... The thing is though, I've seen enough One Piece and MHA and stuff to know that powers that you would never choose can be sick mm. like one piece the main guy is made of rubber and you're like you're like oh, okay that sounds but it's like that's Average. not he's going up against guys that are made of fire and lightning and dudes that can turn into a t-rex and shit you know like one guy can make earthquakes and shit in the air he's so powerful he can, in the he air can crack like the air and stuff it's fucking Fuck. nuts one guy's a fucking phoenix so you know some of these dudes can teleport and shit like there's some there's some cool stuff stuff that you would pick where you wouldn't be like, oh yeah, I want to be made of rubber, <laughs> you know. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so you got your last thing. Oh shit. Okay. Would you rather be a feminine man or a masculine woman? Both of them are pretty bad. Yes. Yeah, oh. Your last one. Fuck me. It's your last one. Uh, in today's climate, yeah, in with what's going on right now yeah, with if it's Abby 17, and whatnot, 76, <laughs> like with what's going on with Abby right now and constantly on Twitter and yeah. getting praise, masculine woman. That's just, both of them are terrible, but I'm gonna pick that. <laughs> I actually, I actually agree. I, I would probably chick pick the chick. 
then uh, feminine dude. 34, I got nine! What? Oh shit, I'm I, the winner, guys! I paused for bear, that though. I'm the winner I of the conversations. <laughs> uh, well, this is the only time we've ever done it. So the very first ever conversation with you, rather. That's great. Uh, you're already, you're already one of them, Eddie. <laughs> oh fuck you, Max. Fuck you, Max. Do you know what? Give me that flashlight. Where is it at? Where is it? I'm gonna fuck your flashlight. That's what I'm gonna do. No, Live on stream. No, no, no. Live no, on no, no. stream. We've so already, everyone can. We've see. already banned enough on this freaking <laughs> channel. There's no way I'm allowing it. Oh boy. There we go. All right, guys. That was our uh, "Would You Rather" section of the podcast. Um, what have you been? What have you been up to, bro? Have you been doing anything interesting recently? Um, so I played The Last of Us. Yeah. Over the last like maybe five days, I banged out a few hours, and I did like a full day. You did it quite quick. That full day probably helped them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so th so there was that, and we'll do the spoiler cast. I literally haven't told you. We have avoided it. We were next to each other yesterday. We haven't talked about it. And mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm being very cautious to like. To say stuff specifically, so I don't give away my impressions, because I, I and I don't know yours, because I stopped watching the stream. I know you found it intense, mm -hmm. but you could have fucking hated it. I don't know, right? So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I still need to make my next Ghost of Tsushima video. But yeah, I think. What else is? What else? I don't know. What have you been up? You've to? been doing a solid amount of gaming. This takes up a lot of fucking and, time. Yeah. So after I played The Last of Us and I gave it to you, I found myself in a lull, and that's why I started doing these cyberpunk yeah. videos and whatnot. And uh, yeah, you guys look forward to that. It'll probably be after this stream. We'll, we'll get it and I'll put it up for you guys so you guys can see. Um, cr constructive criticism is also uh, appreciated. Anyone wants to say anything, how I can prove it will all be um, greatly appreciated. Oh, Jack, take it easy, bro. Thanks for, for joining us, man, for the live version. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Um, but after that, I found myself in a lull and I've been doing that. But I have been watching a couple of TV shows. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so um, I did get round to watching... Jack, my guy. What's he doing? One euro 49. What is that? What is that? <laughs> um... He always does this. He sends a peach emoji. It's always like a butt emoji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jack, for that, bros. If you're such a lad, thank you so much for that, my Appreciate man. Appreciate you, bro. Um, yeah, I, I've been watching a couple of shows. One of them is that 221163... You said that like I'm supposed to know what the frick you just so, said. So, if anybody... I mean, you're more of a history buff than me, so maybe you might have known this. It's the date that John F. Kennedy was shot. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't... No, I mean, not many people know. I didn't know that, for example. But that's yeah, the name yeah. of the show. That's what right, it's called. Right, it's just right, the right. numbers, the date. And oh, it's like conspiracy type stuff. Yeah, but it's actually time travel. So, a guy owns a diner, and for some reason... This is the thing where... I think you told me about this. Is this the show where he can go back in time... Um, and change stuff to see what happens, but it doesn't affect when he comes back. But any time he spends in the past, he ages that amount. Close to that. Okay. Close to that. So basically, it, it's almost the same as okay. what you said, except that it does affect when he comes back. Okay. Let me explain it for everybody who's out there. I won't go into spoilers in case you want to watch it. It's on Amazon, but it's not free. It's it's paid if you want to watch okay. it. Okay. But there are other ways to acquire such TV shows. What, on the internet? Strange, right? Support Strange. the official release on patreon.com slash... Uh, conversations. Eleven twenty two sixty three. That's what it's called right there. there so go. um, he goes. There's a guy who owns a diner, and there's a James Franco is one of the customers that's yeah. there. And he comes yeah. in regularly. <clears throat> the owner goes into the back while he's having pie, and comes back, and he's fucking on death's doorstep. He's fucking dying, and he's like, "I'm dying of cancer." He's like, "You got cancer in five minutes?" Mm. And it turns out he's got a portal in his cupboard in the back room. That as goes, you do. As you do. That goes to the year 1960. 1960. Okay. And he has been going back in time, spending time there, trying to change the assassination of John F. Kennedy. That's he, one very specific thing to change. I'm guessing it's like the closest thing, even though it's three years away from when he always goes back. Right. You can't choose when to go back. It's right. specifically October 1960. Okay, okay. So he spends that time and he, he's surveying, he's finding out Lee Harvey Oswald, did yeah, he do yeah, it? Yeah. And he wants to prove that it was Lee Harvey Oswald before he kills him because he doesn't want to kill a random right. guy. Which is great. And he's fixated. He's like, if we could stop the assassination of John F. Kennedy, we won't go to Nam, we won't do this, we won't yeah, do yeah. that, nothing will happen. And everyone will be great and it'll be all daisies and stuff like that. And just as he goes the last time, he gets cancer and he can't continue, obviously. Right. Because he every time he goes through the portal, he spends that time... Whatever time... He spends in 1960 or whatever, 
he ages that appropriate amount. Exactly. Right. So exactly. he might be 30 on his birth certificate, but if he spent 30 years going backwards and forwards, he's actually 60 years old. Exactly. Okay, okay. Exactly. And when he comes back, only two minutes has passed. Right. So he comes back to two minutes later. That's that's all he does. Um, and it's quite interesting. He after before he dies, he tells James Franco, "This is what I want to do, but I'm dying. You need to do it for me." Okay. And he sends James Franco, and James Franco goes back and he does it. And the whole thing plays out, and it's only something like 10 episodes, okay. but it's fucking great. So, I mean, so great. If, is this one of those things where you can go change something, come back and be like, ah, I don't like that change, or undo it? So what it is, is if you go to the, to the past, yeah. you act something, say like you destroy a tree, yeah. you come back, that tree is destroyed. Right. If you go back through the portal, it resets everything back again. Right. And then you get to do the same so thing like, again or do it differently or whatever you like. I, and then it goes back. I feel you. like this is a case of you go in, you just awfully Harvey Oswald. You come back. Oh, no, it wasn't him. It was the shooter on the grassy you knoll. Back, don't do that. You know, guy's innocent. I mean, gets murdered anyway. But, yeah, you know, like, easy fix. There is a little bit of a, a twist to it. So the, part, the way that they say it is that the past doesn't want to be fucked with. Yeah. So... Things, obstacles come up that just seem like really random occurrences. Right, right, right. And also, when you fuck with it, things just go completely wrong. Like, yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. goes the right way. This is like, so, similar vein. There's a show, it was on Netflix, it was called Terra Nova. Absolute garbage, but I really enjoyed it. And yeah. I don't mean good garbage. I mean bad garbage, but I Terrible really garbage. liked it. And the premise was, um, it's like the year 2155, or whatever the fuck, and I made it up whole world's used up like acid rain everywhere can barely breathe the atmosphere and stuff and they figure out transport to an alternate earth mm -hmm. right or time travel right they turn up and it's the jurassic period right? it's t-rex and all that stuff okay and they send the first time they realize this they sent through an orb or something right that could last forever yeah they tried finding it because they knew where it would be couldn't find it so it's a totally different earth and that gets around the fact that if you go in and squash a fucking rat that suddenly human beings don't appear. Do you know right. what I mean? Yeah. So there was that. Co oh, what? Oh, shit. What's happening, bro? Ashton, my man. You pledged another time. Thank Ashton, you so much. Ashton, aka bro. the weekend simp, but I don't simp conversations because they suck. <laughs> pledged $10 on Patreon. <laughs> Thank you, bro, so much yeah. for that. You're a legend. We love you. We do. Good lad. Good lad. My guy. By the way, just so you guys know, we still don't know anything about PCs, but we are putting pretty much everything on Patreon at the minute towards. What yes, that, exactly. Yeah. If it, all of the donations that go through today, whether you guys do it using that link in the description yeah. or if you go to Patreon, all of that stuff is going to be coming our way. Yeah. Thank you, bro, so much. You're also awesome. So you're saying about Terra Nova? It's garbage, but I really like it. But it has that thing with like, um, they completely got around it being time travel by saying it's a totally different Earth. So anything, like, mm. if you murder a T Rex here, like, Velociraptors aren't going to become. It's primary. not going to, yeah. You know that's like that is live Sorry. audio, and you're like scraping beard Sorry. and t-shirt. I wanted to move it a bit closer to me, but out of the way. Like, so <laughs> I, know, I didn't want that to sound like a fucking marital, but knowing a bit about audio <laughs> and stuff because we have to, that just bugs me so much. And then you touched it more. Oh, anyway, so the show was it any good? It was really good. It was really good. Um, yeah, Ashton, I saw that by the way because you went up a tier. And you wanted to make sure that it doesn't go stay that high for the next tier, so that's why it looks like it went down. Don't worry, your pledge before went in went through, but yeah. the donation, the thing you were showing up the top is, you know. Don't also, worry about I actually want to say this because a few Patreon um, guys have messaged me privately, and I know they've put stuff in the our Patreon channel on the Discord. If you want to adjust your patron your patronage, the the, uh, the tier of your patron mm. Patreon down. <clears throat> Just do it, man. Like, yeah. you don't have to send us like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't... Ah, shut up. A ton of people do it. Yeah. And it's fucking... It's so sweet because it's like, you don't owe us anything. Yeah. You really don't. Yeah, like, if you if you want to go down, just go down. Like, I don't, there's, we don't need anything, so I can't afford it this one. No, 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 no. Like, it's cool, man. Yeah. It's cool. We're cool. We're your bros. We do whatever, yeah. you, whatever you like. Um... I'm going to also, I forgot to put the uh, the links in the description. I did put the links up on the screen. Yeah. But for the t-shirts as well, the uh, the conversations in the cyberpunk style, I'm going to put those in the description yeah. as well in just a second. So There's Ethan, just one. Google Terra Nova, and uh, the characters, yes, you're right, they're just wearing motocross uh, stuff. It is, it is actual garbage. So it, it's low budget as it well. It really is. And season one ended on this great, like, um, kind of, not great, because you can tell that it's garbage, right? 
but um, it was very much like reminiscent of early Lost, where they, uh, well, I'm not going to give it away, but they find something very, very unusual in like the the Forbidden Zone or whatever. Um, it, and I really wanted to know, but they haven't made a season two, and it was like it's ten years old, so they're not doing it. Not like if you guys are fans of Firefly, where they made it and like. 15 years passed and they couldn't do a season 2 so they did a movie to wrap things up which I appreciate that which, you should watch Firefly I, I Firefly never watched really it good. but I've heard it's like one of Super those really good. great shows really good highly recommended it so I've also one of our things a few of our anime have affected shows so I have Outlaw Stars a questionable one and Cowboy Bebop those both affected Firefly Dinosaurs and uh, there's a scene where they get Carly Summer um, it's literally scene for scene shot yeah. for shot out of uh, Outlaw Star, hmm. which is like an 80s or 90s anime. So there you go. Um, our boy Isaac donated uh, five pounds as well. Thank you, bro, so Isaac. much. Thank you so much My for game. that. Uh, I'm gonna read out your your message that was with that as well. The as classic conversations are set up is like awful here. It's really really strange. And what I'm gonna pull up the the comment in a bit and read that out for you. Okay. Yeah. Um, Zach, yeah, that is the princess Jasmine actress. So yeah, she's in it. Yeah. Do you know what I might do, actually? It's bad, but good. Like, I, it's garbage. And I don't, like, really, genuinely, boys, it is not high production value. The writing is iffy <laughs> sometimes. But it's, like, it's great. You would think, and I don't know who made it, but if it was WB, uh, not WB, uh, CW, I wouldn't be surprised, you know? It feels like that, but it's good. It feels that bad. Yeah, like, but it's good. It's And also, like, the family doesn't make sense. I think it's, like, the, the main guy is, is, I think he's white. His wife, I think, is Indian, and then one of their kids is like Mexican or or Latin. Is what Latino or so? Like Latino, she seems, yeah. she seems like South American. It's very strange. Also, there's the guy from Avatar. You know, the the dude with the scars on his face. He's in it. Scars on his face. Yeah, the guy who's like Jake Sully. You need to do this thing for me. I'll get you your legs back when you rotate yeah. back home. That yeah, guy. yeah, yeah. I know that guy. I know he's that guy. in it, and he plays basically the same guy, except this time he's good. They were just like, hey, you know what? Oh, this time he's good. Yeah, yeah, so deep. <laughs> I was like, they were just like, just play the same guy, but play him better. Because lit he literally is. It's like, oh, instead of blue dudes, it's T-Rexes. But, you know, boom. You know? I'm trying to get oh, the... We uh, will share the link, Ashton, to the thing that we aren't telling people about. Oh, yes. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Prince Zuko is in it. Who? What? Oh, are you talking the live action thing? Or are you talking, like, the voice actor? Super Bleach. What the frick is that? Just uh, oh, audio thing. That's the thing. So. Alright, now we should get our our stream donation. Stream labs. Okay. Why does it say stream labels? Yeah, this is stream. Oh, sorry, I said stream labs. It's meant to be stream labels. I was like, that is not labs, but that is labs. Oh, stream labels for, from stream labs. Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so it says. Uh, VJ Emmy, sorry, uh, who killed Captain Alex? Captain what? Alex? Isaac, what's that? What's that about? I feel like that was in context when he sent it, and I have no idea what he's talking about now. I'll play that again. Awkward pause. Oh, frick! I forgot we're on the podcast. Ed's trying to work out some audio stuff. It's a little stuttery. Oh, that is stuttery. At least we'll know when we get a donation. That's the main part. Yeah. From Wakali Wood to who killed Captain Alex. Emmy from. Emmy from Emmy from. Uh, you're gonna Wood need to, to explain that Captain. one to us. <laughs> yeah, I feel like again it might have been in context, and then because we're gone. So. It's a meme, apparently. Yep, Katie. Fortune oh, hey, Katie's and... here. Hey, Katie. I didn't see you there. How's By the way, going? this is our, our obviously our tenth. Uh, conversations podcast but it's our half birthday and so we're doing it live yeah it is live yes it is live and no one no one has asked but no one has asked yet and we're recording it so if any go. of you guys are watching are listening to us on podcast services you might want to also join us for the uh, for the video because there's a lot of this is the first time we're doing a video for the yes. podcast as well yeah. and you get to see the shit we're doing on screen and stuff like that yeah man. um i do have a thing to show you so okay. you know how on our podcast we always talk about how to shit yes and it's, it's a, come up like three times now, back a, to back. Yeah. A couple of times, you yeah. know, it might be one of those things. Yeah. Um, 
Have you got enough windows open? You know what? There's so many windows that it's right. and it's a from r slash shit post by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna pop this up on the screen so mm -hmm. people can see. And we're gonna discuss This is a technique. We're gonna discuss the technique for preventing your poop from splashing the toilet water on your butt. Yeah. Do you have any preferred techniques before we go into to this? To prevent this. Yes. Um so I, I think everybody has tried to prevent this. If you suspect you're going to get, uh, you know, Neptune's sweet kiss. You, oh, you, shit, I've like, never heard that. Sounds yeah, yeah. good. <laughs> I, I, like, try to scoop forward so that it's not going to, like, slap into the water. Uh, so maybe it hit the lip and, and I'll... Yeah, exactly. Depends on how your toilet is built, right? Yeah, some, some of them have some the, the, loops back, the back. Some of the back. Loop at the back. I mean, you know, ramp at the back. It doesn't make any sense to me. It seems <laughs> like a terrible design. You know, it seems awful, but... Anyway, okay, go on. So these are the these are the options right yeah. here. I just shit on the floor, to be honest. That's what exactly. Then you're one hundred percent guaranteed not to get the Neptune's kiss you're talking exactly. about. Exactly. Remind me because I actually have a funny like people don't know how to shit factoid for you, but uh, remind All me right. after this. Yeah. Okay, I'll remind you. To do so shitting on the floor. You've yeah. got a couple of options here. Yeah. A, you can catch a poo. Catch the poo in your hand. Yeah. That will that will pretty much guarantee yeah, it, as long as you it. can catch well. Yeah, you know, that's pretty good right yeah. there. Let us know anyone if you uh, if you guys do this one. Let out your your letters A B C D etc. I actually have two poopy things to so remind me. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll remind you both. Yeah. There's the option as well. Don't break the poop, so just don't clinch your asshole. Right, so it's like ice cream. Yes, yeah, like a whippy, just yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. That's I've what seen two girls do. one cup. Yeah, exactly yeah, that. Yeah. Much like two girls one cup. That's right. Oh, zoom in. You guys want to see it a bit bigger? Yeah, one second. Let me go. So I'll, I'll scroll across like that. Okay. So yeah, don't break the poop. Yeah, put the poop, you know, put in your hand and then put the poop in gently. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. C, make smaller poops, so like rabbit shit. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. like little nuggets. But I feel like that's going to make loads of little splashes. You it's know? true. <laughs> and also, who has that fine control of their butthole? Yeah. That they can just go, all right, I'll oh, just snip that off. I, I was assuming he was telling his guts, look, change your plans, boys, little ones. Right, guys. Instead of being like, Snip, 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 snip. You know, it's not like pasta. <laughs> That's the way I saw yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so no more logs, guys. We're right, going to be doing right. little ones. From now on, orders from up, to, up high. The way, We're going to the little rabbit shits. <laughs> the way that I see it is just sort of like a little bit pops up, snip that off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little yeah, pops yeah. up, snip that it's off. It's like when you prune in roses or something. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So who has that control yeah. over their butthole? You go, stand up quickly as soon as the poop leaves your body. So okay. just, yeah, I mean, oh! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Whoa, yeah, yeah. Also, then you've got shit on your ass. You're gonna smear it between your cheeks. And also, and if you're going continuously, if you try to mi mix and match a couple of these, it's just gonna oh. slap against the back of your leg, isn't it? It's not gonna work. And also, what if you get up just a bit too quickly, just before it gets out of your oh, ass? Yeah. You fling it through your legs, and then it comes out on the toilet seat, Shoot. on the floor. This is why I just shit on the floor. Exactly. And just then you don't have to worry floor. about. Yeah. Right, exactly. Exactly. exactly yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. Um, again, remember, guys. Let me know what your your numbers are. Your sorry, your letters are. Put some ice cubes in the toilet. Break okay. the 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 viscosity yeah, yeah. of the water. Yeah, that's I just fine, but I feel like I'm not making you know iced shit here. <laughs> like I'm trying to take a dump and get it away from me as soon as possible. Well, I don't want to flush and have my shit just. You know when you do like an iced coffee or something, and you can hear it clinking around in your thing. I don't want a, a turd getting like fucking minced up. <laughs> And, do you know what I mean? That, of all of these, that might be by far the worst. Oh, easily it. the worst idea. Do you know what I mean? Just imagine like a Starbucks yeah, coffee. It's like, it's, like, it's like the worst prison latte. You know how they make wine in their toilets. Do you know what I mean? It's, like, it's terrible. Oh, fuck me. You've gone bright red. I hope the camera picks up. Your face is oh, your face is like as red as this. Oh my god! Oh Jesus Christ! So there's that. Oh. I think E might actually be the worst. E oh. may be, E may be worse than catching oh. it. Yeah, that might be. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Oh, I can't read that now. What does that say? Sit in the toilet water. Okay. I mean, then you're not gonna get an unexpected splash. Right. But at least you've chosen. You like I'm gonna you know chew up so well, dead. Yeah. So I mean, dead. you think about sitting in the water. You know how some people have like heated toilet seats. <sighs> yeah. If you have heated toilet water and you're sitting into like a nice warm. Not bad. Not bad. Nah, that isn't a bad shower. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> So we go an E final answer, yeah? That's E's final way. answer. There we go, guys. We've decided it here on Conversations. E is the one. E is the one, guys. You put yeah. ice in there, done. You get a nice Trinta ice coffee of terrible shit. Terrible idea. <laughs> yeah, that was terrible.
God, that's so disgusting. I saw that on uh, on Reddit and I was just like, we talk about shit so much that that has to be. What the fuck, Nightbot? Untime out. Uh, Aussie, what did... Can oh. we ban Nightbot? Can we ban Nightbot? Come on. Stop spamming symbols. What the fuck? Uh, Aussie got, he, he only got banned for five seconds, so let's... Uh, oh, okay. It's not too bad. But if he does it again, then he's going to fuck with Banned him. for five seconds or well, timed out? Timed out, okay, timed okay. out. Sorry, Ozzy, you're getting screwed by Nightbot there. Oh boy, that was so. Yeah. No one, no one said what their what their yeah, version so is. Boys, Which one of these do you do? F's in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Of these, what do you think is the best example? What's well, so Adam saying? Care to explain Diogo? Has Diogo said something? Oh, something God, interesting. Let's find like, this. Oh, that, or maybe because he's saying he's control. Control. Adenate Lawrence says D. D is stand up as quickly as, as soon as it leaves. Yeah, okay. That's that's if you've got the skill, if you can time it the moment that it leaves your ass, then you're safe. Right. Diogo said his comment was I do G and there isn't a G. He just holds it in. He just holds it he in. Holds he holds it in and vomits it. There you yeah, go, yeah, there yeah. you it's go. It's like that South Park where they backwards. I sent you guys a, a gif of a, a girl who was You that was impressive. Like I not even so I presume it was in like a, a, a rated eighteen subreddit. It was, girl. it was. And I did not find it like pornographic in any sense, no. but I did find it medically fascinating. It was. It was one of these like ridiculously long. I'm not going to say it's a dildo because I don't think that counts. It was like if you imagine a thicker a version rope. of a cooked spaghetti. Yeah. It yeah. was so like not rigid and whatnot, yeah. and it was maybe two meters. Yeah, I mean it was maybe um, two meters. I reckon it was a solid four or five feet. Yeah, it was a exactly, lot. exactly. About that. And she just shoved it all the way down her throat. And all we saw was just pulling it out. And I swear the end of it was brown. It was... I, swear. I even said in the channel, like, if that goes any further, it's coming out the other side. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it, again, medically fascinating. But okay, so I have uh, two, two pooping things. Go ahead. One, so a lot of people don't know how to shit in the woods. So the general thing is you take a shovel with you, right? And yeah. everybody knows the, like... In movies, oh. the guy takes the shovel. What happened? We got no. We got a donation. I want to. I didn't put it on this stream here, which is shitty. A value of plenty. Ah, oh, there's a delay on that, so I can't see it. One sec. Where we at? Where we at? He's referring to my previous donation message. You killed Captain Alex. Is a Ugandan indie film where the quote dinosaurs is said randomly by the video Joker. It's a decent film. I really recommend it. Okay, I you really, really hope the podcast could hear that. I think they could. I think they could just hear that end bit right there. I really hope. Isaac, thank you very much for the donation there. I'm going to copy this and put that in otherwise the other... that was like two minutes of silence <laughs> where if on the podcast they can't hear it, we'll need to add something in to explain we were listening to a thing and you can't hear it, sadly. Or you'll have to read it out to them. I'm going to so, put that here so then they can, they can also hear so, it. So if you do it now, it will pop up on the screen. A Ugandan indie film where the they quote where the quote dinosaur is said randomly by the I I'm still not understanding yeah, this. Yeah, he says the quote he says the quote dinosaurs is said randomly by the video joker. It's a decent film I really recommend it. I mean, we might check it out. I love how that was the explanation and it still made zero sense. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I I love you, but my days. Isaac, we love you, bro. We love you. So the, the two moving things, everybody's like, oh the guy like gets up from the camp with a shovel and goes into the woods, right? Most yeah. people don't ask me why, but most people's natural inclination is to poo, dig a hole, shovel the poo up, and, and put it in, and that's why? back to front. You dig the hole, poop in the hole, cover it up. Yeah, most why? people don't know how to do that. Fun fact: I was sick a little while ago, maybe a year and a half ago or something, and needed to do a stool sample because sometimes you have to do that. And I was trying to figure out the easiest because the little cup they give you is freaking tiny, right? Yeah. And I was trying to figure out the best way to do this, and I figured it out. I took a black bin bag. Put it over my toilet mm -hmm. under the seat and put a dip, dip in it. Yeah. Pooped into it, right? Right. Stood up, put the poop into the thing, and then I had a, it was in a bin bag. And I just pulled there it. There you go. Out, you know, and so I had pooped into the middle of a bin bag that was stretched out so it wasn't going to slip. Put the amount in, and I was perfectly clean. It worked. I was super proud of myself. That is, you should be proud of yourself. That sounds really good. Yeah. Really so, cool. like, boys, if, ever, if you're ever like, I need to do a stool sample, but I can't figure this out. Hit us up on the Discord. Hit exactly. Me up on the Discord, I guess. Exactly. You know, you're pooping uh, G. <laughs> these are terrible, by the way. No one of these is good. Just Not shit on one the floor. of them are good. 
I'm gonna switch it back to the big. That screen, is grim. Bro. We're talking about pooing, bro. What do you expect? Exactly, exactly. The classic conversations podcast. That's what we're talking about here. It's true. Um, Zahir, if you missed that, you should just definitely go back and watch that when we upload it as a separate podcast yeah. and whatnot. And make sure you like the stream and like the like the stream and like everything the stream. like that. Yeah, share the vod. <clears throat> share the vod. Um, what else has been going on recently? We did. Um, we didn't talk about this. I don't think last time, or maybe we did. Did we talk about Bill and Ted? Uh, the new trailer that came out. I'm super hyped, and I think we have tried to work out, but never actually got round to it, which because we also forgot to do movie club stuff. But we want to plan it so we do Bill and Ted's awesome, you know, one and two, leading on to three coming out. Yep, yep. Which also, fits because we did we did uh, Back to the Future, which is also a great time travel type deal. Exactly. And I watched Infinity War and Endgame recently with my chick. And they reference all those time travel movies. They do. In the time travel thing, like, this is known. Like, look, that's not how this works. Like, Bill and Ted, yeah, Back to the Future. Like, it's not how it works. Uh, for those of you guys that heard Movie Club and wondering what's happening about this week's Movie Club, stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned. There's going to be We have an announcement, let's say that. Really cool we have stuff. An announcement. Really cool stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah. The, uh, yeah, Bill and Ted. It looks like it's going to be classic Bill and Ted. Yeah. They do look older because they are yeah. older and whatnot. But I think it's going to be fun and really... It should be. From my understanding, unless something's changed, and, and I'm actually... I was really proud of myself for The Last of Us because I managed to stay away from pretty much every single spoiler. I was really mm. dedicated to not getting this game spoiled because the first one was so important to me. Yeah. I think I want to do the same thing with Bill and Ted. Yeah. Because... As far as I understand it, the premise is they did the first two movies, and at the end of the second movie, they find out that their music saves the world. It brings everybody together, right? And then this movie picks up now, and they're their current age, and they still haven't done the thing that, yeah. that saves the world. And it's also quite... There's a lot of millennials that... We're in this weird group, and I feel like Gen Z didn't get this, which mm. was millennials had their helicopter parenting. You can be anything you want, and then you go out into the real world, and it turns out that people don't care about your feelings. No. People only care about results. And, and there's millions and millions of people that aren't changing the world and aren't like curing cancer and becoming like the next uh, Kobe Bryant and stuff, right? Yeah. Which was their dreams, and everybody was told you can do it. Um, and I feel like that is really topical because we're all in a, a similar age bracket where we feel like we should have done the thing by, the now. Thing by now. Yeah. And here's Bill and Ted supposed to literally save the world. Save the world. And they're and like in their it. 50s yeah. and trying to like, you know, struggling to make this thing. So I'm really excited for it. Plus it's hilarious and it's Keanu Reeves. Like you can't, you can't beat Keanu. Do you know what's really weird? I... Except 47 running. We don't talk about that. Uh, so, so, so. He's made a few of those. Um, we, with uh, a lot of movies... Especially these classics that yeah. I now love. Yeah. I watched them at a time where I was a dumb kid and I didn't know anything. Yeah. And we all probably all did. Yeah. But the thing is, is that... These what? guys are still dumb kids. Exactly. Fucking They're Ashton on our over patron. here. We've got, we got uh, D over here. Diogo, Max, all that. Ozzy. Ozzy John Wick 4 is going to be lit. I just want to say, on a, on a similar note, Keanu Reeves is my pick for a live action Samurai Jack. Do you remember okay. that cartoon? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I wanna, can see that because they did a. I actually haven't seen it, but they did another season of Samurai Jack, and he's like much older. Um, that I would make that live. Boom. That's a good shot. That is with, a good shot. With Keanu Reeves as old Samurai Jack. Speaking, of, Dee's getting offended that I called him young in the um in the Last of Us that I was playing. I saw he's literally like fifteen. He's something like fourteen, I think. Yeah. Um, I. I when there was a, a, ba a pornographic scene that came up, yeah. my instant reaction was like, D, cover your eyes. D, close, <laughs> close, your, close your ears, cover like, your eyes. You go to cover your screen. <laughs> yes. Did you really? I did. I was like, I was like no. I no, called no, no. it. <laughs> so, okay. So genuine question, because I obviously got to that scene. Yeah. And I heard like two a day or two before I got there that Sony had censored the scene. For me, it was like three seconds long. Yeah. And you saw like a... An, a the tip. fuck? It's moving by itself. It's the AC. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, his can was just moving by yeah. itself on the desk. And it was like, yeah. ghosts. And I was like, oh, maybe they did censor it. Because like, there's a, Jesus Christ, that is scaring the frick out of me. Um, there is a, a, a Polaroid picture that has blood covering like the goods. It's a chick showing her. It's Leah, Leah, the chick from the town. You find a picture. Yeah. And she's like lifting up her shirt to the guy that's away for two weeks. Do you right? know, I didn't notice that she was naked in that. I saw pictures. I thought it was just Yeah, yeah I, think she's showing, I think she's showing her boobs. I think. But like, I, you know, you see it once and there's blood stains. You're like, okay, cool. I mean, we did just murder a person and still these pictures. 
because yeah, because Dina goes ooh or something like she makes a reference to it being like okay. quote unquote pornographic, I suppose, right? Just right. a tit shot. Um, but also that scene, the sex scene. Yeah. Again, I didn't really sort of know what was going on uh, with, with like everything online before I got there. People were making out like it was this big deal. It wasn't a big deal at all. It really wasn't. It wasn't anything too no. serious. It was a, a sex scene. We've had way worse in movies and fucking yeah. stupid. Yeah. Just stupid. And we see gory violence, fucking Joel's face, and we won't get too deep into yeah, it, yeah, but yeah. we've seen goriness in games for time. Yeah. Just by seeing a tip, we're like, oh. And not even. Whoa. And like, okay, genuine, genuine thing. It's like half a second. It's not gratuitous. You know, it's like, it, I really. I was like, oh, cool. Oh, cool. It's a sex scene. Whatever. Yeah. And I normally hate it. Like, 300. Yeah. Oh, hate. what's her name? Cersei. Eva Green. Eva, Eva, uh, Eva Longoria. Not no, her. no, no, no. But that I think chick. It's Eva Green or whatever. The, girl, Eva, Eva the lady Green, that plays what? Cersei from Game of Thrones. But, like, that sex scene. Oh, no, not her. Sorry, I was thinking of someone else. Sorry, yeah, but, but her sex scene with Leonidas. Mm -hmm. It's like five minutes long. Look, I get it. They're hard fighting, hard fucking Spartans, right? I'm here to see man's murder dudes with sword and shield. I don't like again. I'm watching this on the internet. Come on, man! Or with my parents. And their washboard, the guy's washboard abs. That's what we. Yeah, want to I see feel as like well. if she runs her hand, down, it's going to ring, ding, ding, ding. Exactly. There was a lot of very. It's sound like a wind that. chime. You know. <laughs> um, what was I saying before? I don't know. We were talking about sex scenes. I was D talking. being young. D being young, covering the screen. Yeah, there was, a child. I think there was something just before that that I was talking about. No idea. This is the professionalism that we bring. <laughs> Guys, if you remember, let me know in the chat. Yeah. Uh, I need to. I need to get back on my train of thought. There. We do that to each other a lot. It's like, oh, just one second. If I tell you about blah blah blah, I, blah I, forty-five I, minutes later. The thing is, I, I hate doing it because I notice <clears> that I do it to you, but and I know you do it to me, but I'm like, the, you asked that very first. Um, uh, 50 50 or whatever yeah. it was i'm like boom i'm down yeah so i don't care that there's a thing but i know some people get really annoyed that we've gone they... off track <laughs> right and i'm just like oh cool that thing i was gonna say doesn't fit anymore never mind or sometimes by the way boys genuine thing for you if you were gonna say something and it really is bugging you stop the conversation dead and say i was gonna say this and say it if it's really killing you that much because otherwise you'll the conversation has this weird undertone everybody can feel it but no one knows what it's there yeah just be like look i need to get this off my chest be up front with it it's like you know I'm get it about. out and then let people know that's why it's better to do the shit yourself once in a year like yes. you turn it into an event or like what was that what was the one i picked like a bell rings when you're horny or something yeah. I, had, I had one of those oh uh, or like you go purple or you one of those things right like if you're horny just do it and a bell goes off you can just be like yeah i'm, I'm horny like just the thing, you know, it's always better to introduce the elephant in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Max actually called it. He said, you were saying about watching these classic movies when you were young. Oh, and yeah. To appreciate and being them. stupid kids. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. went very far away from that. How we got <clears> to <throat> Abby's tip? Don't from know how. Literally, yeah. Really don't know how. Somebody's going to have to go back and trace our steps and be like, yeah, it still doesn't make I sense. I wouldn't do it because <laughs> it's probably going to end up tracing those steps just ends up with a map of mental illness. Yeah, yeah. You know, like it's not good. So these guys are actually clinically insane. They're yeah. actually not, they don't have the same minds. Anyway, I was saying, what I was saying was um, when I watched those movies, I didn't have an appreciation for them because I didn't know what I was seeing half the time. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't, okay, they made a joke about Napoleon and Waterloo. What does that even mean? I've... Some of the movie clubs we've done, because the movies we haven't revisited since, you know, like the time you saw them, right? Yeah. I'm catching on a lot of that stuff. Little little throwaway lines that are for the parents, you know, when you saw it as a kid. Yeah. And you're getting like all those dirty jokes that are in um, The Incredibles. Yes. You never got those. Never got them. Yeah. But now we watch them, we understand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in Hercules as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't know what it is, but what made me go watch those movies again? Because I clearly didn't understand it when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. But then suddenly I'm like, do you know what? I'm going to watch this whole movie again. And this time it, it all sinks in and whatnot. And I'm glad we've got Movie Club for that reason so we can go watch them again. Absolutely. But I wonder what it is. I would love to go back to that moment in my life where I'm like, oh, so it was this that made me think about this and actually go watch it again. And now I appreciate this amazing classic yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. First of all, Hook's a goddamn classic. Don't anyone say anything yep. other. I'm not going to you know, freak you. But... I think it's really incredible that movies can have um, two layers to them, or there's almost two movies playing where, like, you, the kid, is seeing the kid's movie, and the adult that has to take you is getting all those filthy jokes and puns, like, ah, oh, okay, at least there's something here for me, you know? Yeah. 
Oh boy! I'm like, oh, what kind of dessert she want? I think she likes cream pies. Like like <laughs> yeah. You're like, you're like, hey, oh, everybody likes pie. Who doesn't and like cream like, pie? Ah, that's right. And there's a bestiality joke in there because I'm watching Beauty and the Beast or something like that. You know? <laughs> real talk, though. Real talk. Beauty and the Beast. What a fucking joke of a movie. Are you talking about the live action or the animated? Well, I'm talking about both of them because just about this one premise. Okay. So Belle, very clearly, wanted to fuck. This giant beast of a man dick. Yeah. Hairy, beefy, You don't girthy. know that. It could have been like one of those dog... It's uh, true. Red Rockets, rocket. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm assuming it was big and beefy I regardless. I assume Chewbacca's got a dog dick. Could, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I'd recommend that too. But a beefy, monster-sized dick. Yeah, I feel like you're really emphasizing this here. Yeah, yeah. And then she kissed him. Oh, well, got the, oh, the rose and whatnot. Belle got cucked. And then he shrunk down to a regular size Belle guy. Was, and she's like, fuck. Belle was like, oh, mate, I'm going to get to ride this bad dragon. And, and oh, great, it's a guy. It's a guy. It's like, oh, yeah, great. Yeah, seven inches. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, 1.8 inches. My I'm apologies. 1.8 inches. Yeah, great. Yeah, fucking. Uh, Send your pantaloons. Oh. I just want to quickly say, he said, hook slaps. And he's right. Hook slaps and it it hits different now that you're older. <laughs> yeah. You know, and you yeah. and you and you get so much more of it, like the relation, like the father son relationship. Which, um, I feel like, as a kid, you're like, oh yeah, he doesn't spend time with the kid. No one gives a fuck. Like I want to see pirates and 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 Peter Pan fly and shit. But or like the stuff with with uh with Rufio. Yeah. Where you're like, kind of becomes this adoptive father son thing mm-hmm. it, I don't know man it's a great movie it's it a is great a great movie, movie. it is a great idiot movie if you don't agree also there's things like I lost my marbles you know, yeah. he's crazy he did lose his marbles and I was like I've heard adults say that before but I don't know what that means yeah, when yeah. I was younger but now you get it you're like ah oh, marbles because it means crazy I get it yeah. See, I did lose my marbles everyone's saying that's every conversation's convo <laughs> saying talking about uh, uh, beast dick and stuff like that I mean we stay consistent. Exactly. We we give you guys the content you deserve. It's you true. know the content you guys need. Um, <laughs> I do. I do always think about. It. I'm like fucking. She got cucked so hard. She cucked herself. And the only and the only good looking guy in the whole thing is Gaston, and he's not even. And he's not even. He's a bad guy. You don't even get to fuck the bad guy. He's the weirdest bad guy as well because he's kind of a simp. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He's he's kind of a simp, Chad. He's like the king of cucks or something like that. Like mm-hmm. it's so strange. Although there are there are funny things like um, what, one of those ones like I've been thinking a dangerous pastime indeed. You know yeah. like that, that it's so funny. Um, I know in the live action they had uh, the guy that plays the snowman in Frozen. He's the Gaston's little buddy, the fat okay. chunky guy. Right. And they're like, oh, we're gonna make that guy gay and this and because it's Pride Month, I. Uh, I wanted to say I freaking hate that stuff because they take all these characters and they're like, oh, it's a two D character. Throw some homo at it, and now look, we can. It makes it better. We can see this, this big and and because it's so obviously suits. That's why it bugs me. Yeah, because they they don't know what is good, and they yeah. just like we've re- we've read in in surveys. We're not actually knowing what it's like to yeah. be homosexual. What they want representation. It's, just, it's or literally like that. just a normal person, but then you swap out the thing that they like. That's that's it. So and, you're just and guy. especially in that movie, it doesn't ever. Cut. There's no. It need doesn't it make any at sense. All. It doesn't make any sense at all. And they're like, but look, we made unnamed character gay yeah. for pride, and it like it's just obvi- it's such bad pandering. I hate it so much, especially because it's pride. I, that reminds me, I did find uh, this guy who's um, found a picture in like uh, an evolution chart in a high school biology book, and it's talking about Homo sapiens and stuff because you know. Homo erectus, Homo sapien, Homo neanderthalis. You know, there's a few different, yeah, uh, different type of homos. Gen- genus things, right? And so one of them is later Homo. Okay. So like we're talking about later man, right? Okay. And uh, it was uh, during the calamity. It was like uh, big corporations when they find out Pride won't be happening uh, this year. Later Homo. <laughs> <laughs> like, it cracked me up because that was that's, funny. Exa- that's exactly what they're like. They're like, you know. They, they only do this stuff when it's topical to be like, oh, by the way, in us, you know, we're not faceless suits. You know, you're not just a number to us. We care about the gays, <laughs> you we, know? We found it in a book. Yeah, we, we care about <laughs> social issues. You know, yes. we care about topical thing. Thing that's current at yeah. the moment. Right, yes. we care about flick, flick, flick. 
woman's suffrage. Look, like, they don't give a frick. They ask their daughter, it's like, Jane, what's really hot on the on the Twitters right now? That's it, that's it, what? that's it, the Twitters. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, what else have we, what else have we been up to know, recently? Uh, we watched a good few movies. Yeah, I watched a good few movies. Um, do you know, I, I think I brought this up before. Did I bring this up? I brought it up to you personally, I think. Yeah. Um, Money Heist. I can't wait for another season of that. You haven't watched it no. yet at all. Great. It's a Spanish TV show, but it's dubbed in English if you ever want to watch it. And the dubbing is really good. It's They just try and jack money from a, a, a mint, a royal mint. It fits with the name. It fits with the name. Sticking true to branding, yeah. And there's a whole, like, they build a team and they're all really cool. <laughs> and it's just very risk it's really cool really I just, cool anyone who wants to go watch that's really I'm going to say because you said the specific words building a team I have a lot of people on my Facebook mm -hmm. a few people that are looking for a boss bitch who wants to work from home to build their team or whatever yeah, all these Herbalife scheme. type oh things my God. I'm so sick of saying like oh I need three people I'm building my team like no I, I hate that specific phrase but I haven't seen that one thing I did see after watching what, what did I finish I can't remember what it was, but it was good. And then Netflix recommended uh, Warrior Nun. Yeah, you were saying it. I, I don't know anything about it. The trailer played, and the trailer looks a bit like it. I thought it was a movie. I thought it was like a two-hour movie, and it would follow whatever was going on. Mm -hmm. Watch the first episode. Basic gist. Um, Demony type hell, hell heaven or whatever, mm -hmm. and I guess like the frontline military are nuns for some reason. Okay. So I started watching it. It's not good but it's not bad right it's there's definitely some things there there's some very funny writing in it i think i'm interested i'm gonna continue watching it with my chick okay i will say going into this i should have been prepared but pretty much all of the characters are chicks okay cool warrior nun yeah. I, I, I expected that makes sense yeah. but there's a lot of the the typical trope like the badass guy that doesn't follow the rules and I think I think the character's called Shotgun Mary because she has, and she literally says at one point, "I don't follow like I don't need to do that thing." I got two shotguns, which is a good point, Mary. Yes, very good point. Yeah. But also, her character feels like it should be Denzel when he was twenty-five, thirty. You know, like <laughs> like, it, and because I think she, yeah, she is black, so I, I just picked a black actor, right, to to mirror it. And I feel like you know Denzel or someone from The Boys or something, right? And I'm like, I get the character, but because they're all these tropes. And they're like militaristic, so you end up with a lot of male tropes and all these chicks. And I'm watching, I'm like, fuck, man, like, why do they have all these chicks? Oh, yeah, they're nuns. So I'm struggling with, is it, am I the problem or is the show the problem? Because I'm mm. having a hard time telling. But there's some really funny stuff. Uh, some stuff that I'm loving. There's also some terrible child acting. Would you recommend it? Would you recommend it to anyone? I, I'll tell you what, there's some interest. there's a couple of really interesting concepts. Yeah. I'll, Shall I tell you the first episode? It happens in like the first two minutes. Go on. First five minutes. I mean, I'm if I was to try it, I would see it in the first two minutes. Anyway. Yeah. Go on. Basically, uh, some of these nuns get attacked and one of them is dying and they pull this glowing fucking ring out of her back and she mm -hmm. dies. And straight away, I'm like, that's a fucking halo. Right. I can, like, I'm like, I, I literally I go to my chick, I'm like, I guarantee that's a fucking angel halo. I guarantee mm -hmm. it. Glowing ring. Right. And the like the attackers or whatever follow them to the church, which I guess is also like this weird military base, kinda of a la John Wick, you know how they're in the hotel yes. and the wine tasting, kinda of similar type mm -hmm, deal. Mm -hmm. And uh, and she runs to their morgue or whatever and puts it in a corpse and then disappears. They run and, and shit goes on. And then the corpse fucking wakes up. And Damn. that's like your intro, you're like boom, you're in it. Okay. And saying about, like, the, what the fuck is this Halo and all that stuff has me really intrigued. And that chick... So this is the thing that bugs me. She, she is like a runaway. She's nothing to do with the nun order or whatever. Mm. She runs away and finds these uh, people. Like, then there's a lot of, like, models in it. Okay, fine. Yeah, Good-looking people. And she's, like, kind of, kind of socially awkward, except she's really not socially awkward. They just say she's obviously... The character is very like pretty and, and delivers her lines perfectly mm. with good social structure but they're like oh but you don't have experience here and they're like ah oh, but is she socially good or not and then she does these weird things where she's like oh thanks for saving me but i didn't need saving you don't need to save me i don't need saving it's like wait wait, wait. 
What are you doing? Like, you don't have to be brutal feminism. You're powered by an angel halo. Yeah. We're down. Yeah. We're down. I'm down. You're the strong independent lead. I got it. Literally powered by heaven. I was going to say, you're powered by an angel halo. There's not much more like, that you need to like, prove. I think at some point she accidentally punched a dude, like, across a fucking room. Angel power, yeah. right? Cool. Powers from the yeah. heavens. So, like, you don't have to be... But also, I'm um, like, the, the girl that doesn't I think it's good. But I'm only two episodes in. It's intriguing. I can't tell if I'm the problem and I'm seeing too much of this. Like, my same thing that I had with Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, I don't, but I don't see. I'm sure it's there and you're not seeing it right. for Horizon Zero Dawn. For this, I can't tell if it's me. Because I went in knowing. It, it, it's called Warrior Nun. <laughs> right? So I think I'm the issue here. I think. I'm not sure. But it's hard to tell because you've got like confirmation bias and stuff. So yeah. I don't know if it's me. I think it. I th- I'm leaning. It's like sixty forty me. If anyone wants to watch it and let Sheps know if he's the if he's the crazy one or if he's yeah. justified right there, uh, hold Ashton. On, hold on, Sheps isn't being sexist. Sheps is sexist. Is sexist. Is. Yeah. Stop take out take out. It's the a way part. of life. There you Super go. Beach. It's a way of life. <laughs> um, it's you, Sheps. Uh, Have Sheps, you watched it's you, it? It's me. <laughs> yeah, it's not you. It's me. Uh, Ashton was asking in here if I finished uh, Altered Carbon season two. Can you believe it? I've not even started it. Okay, I'm gonna be upfront with you. You 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 said you didn't you didn't like it, right? Anthony Anthony Mackie or Anthony Mackie? How does he say it? An- Anthony, right? Um. Because I know people that say the th is a hard t. That guy. Yeah. Hawk. What, what is he? Falcon. Falcon, not Hawkeye. Anthony Mackie is one an incredibly talented actor. Two. I was of the opinion that he could not be a leading man, mm-hmm. and was entirely wrong. Okay. He's really good okay. not just okay he's really good good to hear however season one hit everything spot on it hit the story beats it hit the acting Joel Kinnaman was incredible it had Ortega mm-hmm. absolutely perfect it's not that Anthony Mackie is bad because he is not season two is not good it's like writing and stories it's just bad. subpar yeah I, I would honestly say I do want to see it I would but... say don't but the problem is he's so good because because so like I was saying for a long time um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier is that what they're calling it Captain America what are they calling his spin-off show with uh, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier yeah. I was like I don't want to see it he's not a leading man I watched season 2 I'm like he's freaking awesome so now I want to I'll see to- it. I'm totally down to watch it now right because having seen his performance in it but it's not good and I really feel like it takes away but he's so good mm. so if you're not sure about Falcon and Winter Soldier watch it for him. I was I'm I'm okay. See, I never had the my personal feelings. I never felt he was unable to lead a show. But then again, I've never seen I've never seen a lot of his. I've seen some of his work, but I've never seen him in that commanding yeah. role and whatnot. Yeah. But I was always like, yeah, I think he can be a good whatever. I, I, what I'm more interested in is how are they going to make him yeah. Captain America? That's exactly. the thing. Because I'm like I don't see it pointed personally. out, our big issue is is not his talent. It's it's because he's black. Exactly. That's the big deal. Exactly. That's the you big know? deal yeah. right there, Super Rich. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I mean, he, so genuinely, he's so good. Yeah. He's so good. Oh, it's got Angela from Power. She's like, she's the, the meth girl in this one. I think I know which one you're talking about, although I've only seen a little bit of Power. A little bit of You power. watch Money Heist in freaking Spanish. Yeah, do you know what? Yeah, I... Actually, you're not watching it in Spanish, are you? I'm watching it in English, yeah. yeah but but the, when it came to Money Heist, I watched that in... I think it was like five days. And it was like three seasons or four yeah, seasons. Yeah. I just knocked it all out. Um, when I get hooked in something, I get really hooked. I do want to watch uh, season two of Auto Carbon. When it came out, I started a rewatch of season one. And I was like, That's I, what I, I want to get back into I, it. I did that as well. And I regret doing it. Shit. Because, because season one was as good, if not better, than I remembered. And season two such a letdown. And I feel even worse about season two because Anthony Mackie's is so good. Mm. He's so. I mean, look. I'll say as well. I prefer Joel Kinnaman. I feel like also because that Takeshi Kovacs Kovac yeah. is um, slightly different. This is like maybe fifty or a hundred years later. It's, it's some time period later, right. and this Takeshi is a bit more jaded or whatever. There's a. I don't know. He he seems a bit maybe depressed almost. Okay. And I felt I liked the Joel Kinnaman version better. I also felt that Joel Kinnaman because he's my first vision of it. 
he was always Takeshi Kovacs for me. Yeah. I didn't care about the original body. I didn't care about the, the other guy whose name you can't remember, but you recognize the other yeah, Asian yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the terrorist guy. Terrorist Kovacs, I like him. Yeah. I didn't like him as the when the guy takes over his body. Though, do you know what I mean? So he's a great actor, but Joel Kinnaman to me is Takeshi Kovacs. I wish we had more of that. Yeah. But Anthony Mackie's so good, and it's such a letdown. Such a letdown. Well, I mean, I guess I was going to say worth watching, but I don't know if it is. I think I'm gonna watch it anyway. Don't watch season one. But yeah, watch, I've, I've watch got season, halfway through. Watch season two. Oh, fuck. I was gonna say if you just done one episode, watch season two and then go back and watch season mm-hmm. one. Don't do it the other way. We'll see. I'll get back to you guys anyway. Let me yeah. know. One, I'll let you know what it what it's like. Um, we got some questions sent in today by our bros okay. over on the Discord server, yeah. which you guys can join if you're watching this after the fact yeah. or if you're live right now and yeah. you don't know. Um, just before I do that, actually, I just want to mention, for because people are going to be watching this afterwards in the VOD version yeah. and whatnot, today is uh, Conversations Half Birthday. Yes, We're doing is. this. Uh, if Happy you birthday. Guys, yeah, Happy yeah. birthday, conversation. <laughs> that was, that if, was poppers, but I did it out of my mouth. <laughs> um, if any of you guys uh, do want to go over and check out the brand new merch that we've got, the Conversations t-shirts, that'll be in the link in the description. Can the thing? Uh, I, I can, actually. That's something so we can for do. The, for the guys listening on podcast services around the world, we're showing our Conversations 2077 shirt. Yes. For... We... Did we already have our territory dispute about I was going to take my channel through Ghost of Tsushima and then into... Yeah, you did, so, yeah. So, we, we've already had our beef and uh, That's it. We there's a, officially a civil war going Good, on yeah, here. Yeah. Um, Conversations yeah. civil war. Shit, if, we should make that a shirt as well. <laughs> we should, right? If you guys want to want to grab this t-shirt, there'll be a link in the description. Or if you guys want to head over to our Patreon page, there's a new Patreon tier, yes. a couple of new tiers over there, and you can get the t-shirt as well as have some... Uh, some signed merch if you choose to have that signed as well that'd be really cool yeah uh, go check that out link in the description as i said uh always let me put this back i'm gonna note down mm. a couple of these t-shirt ideas yeah this, uh... oh yeah we've got our note right you can put that down yeah. there. all right let me have a look at some of these questions yeah buddy so here we go josh the second says if sheps got arrested what would eddie think he did oh what would I think he did? Shit, there's a few that could be. I know, right? There's a lot of things that are coming to my mind right there's now. There's a lot of ones I know that because things we we've had some real life events where had whoever was in that van been different. I was just gonna say that. I was gonna say we uh somebody hit the car, my courtesy car that I had outside. Yeah. We went running after it. Sheps came with his car, had a fucking uh, bat in the back. He was like ready to fucking split was... some wigs, <laughs> and I was like, if someone was to cross Sheps. That's what he would go down for right there. He would, but some I mean, guy would get knocked out. I mean, I know what, like, when someone tries to steal your car, I know how bad that can be. They can end up with a real bad limp. So, I mean, there's, there's, some, there's some stuff. It could be anything. Yeah. It could be anything. I feel like, I, if, I feel like, I feel like it probably wouldn't be that. What would it, it probably wouldn't be just beefing somebody out. Yeah, I mean, it'd have to be something really bad for you to want to beat the fuck of some, out of someone. Yeah. I mean, what could they possibly do? I'm just, it's just also the, the reason that went down is because we're in this specific area. Like, yeah. We, we make the joke, but we both grew up in like fairly rough areas. Yes, so, like, we did. So, at a certain point in time, the, you take the boy out of the streets, but you can't take the street out of the boy, you know, that kind of deal. Exactly. So sometimes stuff has to happen, but if you're in like a normal day to day, if you if you're just like, oh, we're out in Central, but we get separated, and then you get a text saying, brother, been arrested, what would you think that was for? It would have to be something like mistaken identity. Like someone robbed a, mm-hmm. a casino yeah, nearby yeah. or something. And they yeah. were like, yeah, it was a guy with, uh, with a red t-shirt on. He looked like a, a homeless guy with a beard. Right, uh, right. Had the fro uh, going. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, a micro penis. And they were like, oh, here he is. We've got him. Perfect like, description. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. One sec. Let's look at your I was. I have been assured this is perfectly sized. <laughs> That's what I would, uh, that's what I would, uh, see right well, there. I guess it's gotta be like, let's say they did, they did it. What would that be? Well, like you did, you did the thing. Oh, you did the so thing. So you've been caught for saying you did, what would it be? I can't imagine you doing anything that bad that would require getting arrested. Uh, fuck. What could you do that's that bad? I don't know, man. What was that other t-shirt idea? There was the sad Leo. 
we had one just now that we were like, oh, we should make that a t-shirt. Boys, does anybody remember what I said we should make that a t-shirt? Yeah, what was the uh, the t-shirt I do? Does anyone remember that last one that you mentioned? Do you know what? Coughed in public during a pandemic. There we go. That's yeah, it could be that. Um, we've got one other thing as well that uh, Zahir, Zahir is, yeah, Civil War, that's it. Zahir's requesting, uh, we do a... There we go. Yeah. We filmed something and uh, the trousers I was wearing for that thing were worse than the school. You know, you remember when you were in school, you wear school uniform and like the school trousers pop up. Yeah. And this is a point in your life where you do suffer from uncontrollable erections. And this isn't one of them, <laughs> but it's always up there. That whole thing we recorded, it looks like I'm just rocking. Yeah, you guys yeah. will see that soon. And, uh, I think and you are, it's. Yeah. It's just marvelous. Everyone's going to be distracted from the actual content. They're going to yeah. be like, "Look at Sheps' dog." We're going to be also the Shep's problem is dog. because it sticks up. It's got a good fold for like it's for a natural place for your hands to go. So it looks like I'm trying yeah. to hide an erection. It's like, oh, so there we go, right Which, there. But the only reason I'm okay with it is because in reality, if I had an erection, I would be like, I'd in, be like, I'd be like, that's right, boys. You know, like framing it. For, see, I'm I'm more of an up in the waistband kind of guy. I feel you, but I'm <laughs> we're showing off for the guys. I'd be like, you know, just. Yeah. So there's the sausage. Do you think we could do the rest of the podcast just on dick cam and we're just talking? Oh, we definitely can. People, people probably probably like this and whatnot. <laughs> Ashton, don't cop your balls like that. I'm doing that just on the side, just like yeah. Right, here we go. Sometimes you got to readjust, innit? Yeah, yeah. I'm one of those guys. I have to readjust. I figured out what I what I thought think it would be for both of us. By the way, go on. Uh, the arrest, the arrestation. I was gonna say whatever we got arrested for. Go on. Probably uh, like. At a, I don't know, what do you call it, like a festival or something, and just getting too into it. Just so not for like beefing people out, but just being oh, too like, out of control. Like, fuck yeah! yeah it's yeah, a yeah. fucking good show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I fucking love Jamaica. Oh, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like, why are you dancing on the float? <laughs> They're like, get the fuck down, get get that fucking. I'm getting arrested. I just feel so right passionate there. about Nigerian Pride Day or whatever. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, let's... Uh, I think that's what we'd be arrested for. We've got a couple to get through, so let's get through some of these right here. Ashton said, and he said this at the beginning, virginity stories. Why? Uh, and also, why is there no Cars movie club, and why, would, why won't you listen to The weekend? Okay, I mean, in reverse order, those two things suck. And yes. And so virginity stories. Do you want to tell your story? I think my virginity story is, you know, I lost my virginity, right? It was not very good. But I did have a similar one. Um, I think it was that sick, where, um, you know, par her parents were out, and uh, we were doing it, and they came in, Ooh. and for some reason, I think I had, and this is why you never do it, like, in the movies with your fucking trousers around your ankles, because you're, like, fucking trying to duck wad waddle, and basically got chased out with, like, flapping in the oh, wind, like, trying no. to pull my trousers up no. down, down the street, like, not, like, chased out, but, like... You're trying like, to run away. Yeah, trying to run away. Either. Yeah, exactly, so it was... That was pretty embarrassing. Aww. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Yeah. So I, um, my mum, for some reason, I mean, not for some reason, I could, you can pretty much guess why she said this. She goes to me, if you respect me, if you respect me, you'll never have sex in this house. Until like my, in my parents' house. Okay. And I was like, I took that to heart. I was like, I guess I can't do that. I mean, my mum's using the respect line. So it must be a big deal. Yeah. So the first place I had sex, I was in a hotel room, right? And it was with my first girlfriend that I had there, and we had zero in common. We were just literally like, we both understood what we was trying to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, we just, the rule is, the social rule is to just have a boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. And then it's to have sex, right? Because we all love sex because we're teenagers, yeah. right? At least that there's that upfront yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. We, we, kind of, we knew there wasn't times where it's like, hey, do you want to go hang out? It was more like, hey... We both want to do this thing. We want to do it together, but we have to say we're boyfriend. 
cool we're boyfriend exactly. and girlfriend yeah. and the, actually you know another example of that the one before that we agreed over like MSN because it was back in those days a messenger in it oh boy you know what I'm saying MSN messenger and all that lot we agreed over there that we were boyfriend and girlfriend even yeah, yeah, though we yeah. hadn't properly gone out anywhere or yeah, something like that yeah, yeah, and then when we met for How the first time I think it was like 13 something like that when did you lose your virginity no no this isn't the virginity one this oh, is one cool. before that okay and when we met for the first time she oh, I was with friends as well you got catfished I, well, I went there with friends and I went to say hi to my friends as well because I was a little bit embarrassed of this new girlfriend I've yeah. got and she's like look he went in to see his friends before he even came over to kiss me and I was like is that what I mean we, we, first of all we've only said that we're boyfriend and girlfriend yeah. over messenger the first thing I've got to do is kiss you Anyway, yeah, yeah. now to the virginity story. I went to a hotel. Yeah. I was with another... How old were you? Uh, it was more like 15 that time. Yeah, same. Somewhere in there. And I was with another mate of mine, and he brought his girlfriend. We went to separate hotel rooms. We... That's good, because you don't want to be in the same hotel room. Yeah. I would not have been able to pull out my schlot in that... Uh, do you know one of those things time. that bugs me? There's movies where it's like... The, the loser friend in college, and the other friend has a chick, and they're there in the same room. I'd have been like, bro... Privacy, bro. In it, or if I was trying to sleep, I'd be like, "Boys, you need to get boy and chick. You need to get in the fucking hallway. Fuck you." Exactly. Go to the bathroom. We do. <laughs> the sofa's free. Go into the bathroom like a civilized person. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um. So yeah, I. Uh... And then just, hey, chick, do you do you stand or sit when you wipe? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be very valuable in my yeah. in my thirties. I'm doing the survey. <laughs> um. So we we're, we're in the hotel rooms. Yeah. And. This was the first time that we was doing it, and I was obviously fucking scared. I was like, I'm going to put on a condom because yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. get no infections or anything like that. And I was so worried about this first time having sex yeah. that I wasn't properly hard when I was doing this. Oh, no. I started off in a good place, but afterwards I was just like... There's a lot to figure out if you... Like, no joke. There's a thing that, like, you would... Ne sex education in school is always really awkward, right? Because you're with friends, and they say silly stuff, and... You you know a few people in that class have probably already done it mm. and you don't want to look like you've done what you're doing and stuff like that but and like one guy will put, the fucking teacher will put a condom on a banana or something it's yeah. super awkward but no joke and especially when you're young you can get condoms for free I feel like we should do something valuable yeah swear to god you should actually try to put one on a couple of times so you know how Practice to do it. it well like one thing a lot of it's, people don't know people... you need to pinch the yes, top because if say. you don't you get like a bubble in there and it can come off exactly and that's and... one super gross and two it's kind of dangerous like it's dangerous in the sense that you're wearing it for protection if your protection comes off you're not protected exactly. therefore that is dangerous you know like Exactly. So you should, you should try, you should practice, you should know how to do it. Also, it makes you comfortable. Otherwise, you get these things. You're like, doing this right. Have you ever put one on backwards, like uh, the wrong way? When, no, I haven't. No. So like they, they're folded. They're rolled up. up. They're rolled up. Yeah. But you can get them where you're like rolling it. Enough effort. Yeah. You're like, yeah. fuck. This is really difficult. Why did they make this so difficult? <laughs> and then, but luckily, I realized it was I was doing it wrong. There you Pulled go. it off. Which, by the way, don't pull it off because <laughs> you get that elastic band thing. <laughs> Slide it off and chuck slowly, it away. Slowly, guys. Slowly. I know there are genuinely a few younger people, so like you should know this stuff. What's happening, Hamid? Thanks for swinging by. How you doing, bro? Um, yeah. So we, I, I, I was putting on this condom, and I was hard when I first started off, and then I put it in, and I was just—I don't know—I must have just got, got in my head, head or something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. and I just started getting, and I started to get a bit softer, and when it got down to the end. I was like, yeah, oh, rope. eventually I was like, oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, did you fake it the one first I faked time? It. I faked it the first what? time. I was like, oh, that was great and whatnot. And I put it out. No fucking condom on the end of my dick. Still inside her. Mate. Now, See that, what was I'm saying, boys? that was traumatizing for me. I didn't, one. I didn't even know this story. And we said, you need to know about pinching on the top. Yep. It can come off. I, pro I might not even pinch the top. It might have been that as yeah. well. But... It, one, it was embarrassing for me because the condom just came off my dick and I, I was like, that pretty proof yeah, that yeah, I yeah, wasn't yeah. hard because when it came out, it's like a fucking spaghetti. And then, embarrassing for her because she now has a piece of, like, latex stuck inside her. Mate, so bad. She tells me to go after it and I'm like, no, I, I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm already fucking scared. I don't want to do yeah, anything. Yeah. It's the first time I've seen a vagina. It could have teeth. I don't know. I don't yeah. want to get anywhere near yeah. that, right? Yeah. And I'm like, no, no, thank you. 
She goes into the next room to ask her girlfriend, which is the other friend of like that's getting banged at the time, to ask her to help to get it out. And she's like, no, I'm not going to do it. She's like, you've got longer nails. You can do it. And I'm longer just like... Longer nails? What the fuck? And I'm just standing I'm just like, oh my God, what it's the bad. fuck? And I just want to get the fuck out of there. Yeah, yeah. I thought my, like, oh, this was embarrassing story was bad. That's way worse. This is way worse. Way this way is worse. one of those things I want to go back in time to change. Suddenly <laughs> I understand your wish, isn't it? And then you come back and I'm a fucking trillionaire sitting here in a tux and, like, exactly. like 10 grand fucking glasses. Like, you look like we would be good friends and you look down at me. It's like, get away from me, peasant! Yeah. I bet you don't have any embarrassing sex stories. <laughs> and her friend doesn't help. But she goes into the toilet afterwards, and after like 10 minutes, 15 minutes of scourging around down there, she right. does get it out. But I'm just like, this whole That's night tough. is fucked. Yeah. And the only alcohol that we could get our hands on was Gordon's dry gin. And we didn't have any tonic. No and mixers. So, just... And I'm just like, I'm drinking a bit of it, and I'm like, oh, what's this uh, disgusting? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like that. And I mean, I like gin and tonic now, but back then I didn't like it. It was more yeah. like WKDs back then. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, oh, trying to dr get myself drunk so I can forget yeah. about this night. It was the worst experience of my life. Is that the worst? That is the worst experience. That's pretty Luckily, rough. after that, it got better. Yeah, that's pretty rough. That's pretty right. And I'm now a pro at sex. I'll show you, actually, you right now. You actually know how to do it. <laughs> I actually know right I think, now. I think you're going to I put a condom on live on stage. I feel like at some point you're going to have to prove that you know how to do it. I think I will. We'll work it out. We'll do like maybe a, a reveal or something. We'll figure out a way to prove it. What kind of ways should I prove it, guys? Let us know in the chat. Because I'm not, based on your sex stories, I'm not actually 100%. I think you need proof that you're not a virgin. We'll have to figure out a way. Get like a maybe a signed, notified... You know, let her, a picture. I have had, yeah. A picture of me with the girl that I just banged with a and verification. Like a, condom, like a jizz condom. Motorized, yeah. <laughs> stamped. Yeah. Oh, oh, Ashton's like, I mean, there's the flashlight, Eddie. There is that. There but is that's that. not how sex So with that's a person. how you practice fishing them out for the next Ooh. time. There you go. Chris, I see you, brother. I know you're here. Just wanted to say. <laughs> Matt. Just sitting there gagging on gin while she's fishing, <laughs> going fishing. <laughs> so, Matt's just noted the new, noticed a new Patreon tier. So, we have a limited time for this month where you can either get our conversation. Can you pull that up so we can see yep. it? You can either oh, get the Conversations 2077 t-shirt from this website. Oh, sorry, my bad. Or, I clicked something bad. What are you doing? Sorry. Or... You can go to the Patreon and do the, is it $28? That way you're the, you get the full Patreon benefits plus the t-shirt. And I think it actually works. The T-shirt you get a little bit cheaper that way, um, but obviously you you know it is more. But you also get all the Patreon benefits. So that's uh, that's why there's a new tier. Is the sixty nine one still up there? It is still up there. No one has cool. claimed that just yet. That's I mean, I don't blame them. <laughs> that's good because we do have an idea for saying so that if anyone was to do that as a joke, right? We we have something in mind, but we haven't got round to doing it. So. That's good, because now we don't have to. So the, the tiers, we actually made some changes to the Patreon as it came up, right? Not from us. The $1 tier now has, once in a blue moon, we actually hadn't decided when, we're going to do basically a VC, a voice chat on the Discord, mm -hmm. where we'll be watching a movie that we've all seen anyway, and just shit-talking the whole way through it. Yes. We'll do that at least sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. We haven't nailed it down, and nah. we don't want to give you guys false Nothing. hope. But we we do want to do this. Our voice chats are so fucking They're cool. So I don't want to do the last one, this. but the one before that was good. <laughs> uh, we made changes to the five dollar Patreon, where you now get both the conversations and the True Game of Podcasts a day, a day or two a days, day a day early yeah. uh, for for you guys. And then the t the twenty eight is twenty eight gets you the the T shirt and the fifteen dollar T shirt. Get all the yeah. benefits of being. A a full uh, super bro mm -hmm. plus the conversations or conversations 2077 t-shirts so. yes and those two t-shirts you can buy from here and you can if you want to you can get it signed you might get some other goodies and stuff like that that come with it obviously that's not we'll a guarantee be... we're not 100 sure what yeah. we're doing you we, may do we did that for the last t-shirt but what we have is just whatever's on whatever yeah, we have at that time have, and yeah. whatnot but if basically you you're have meaningless it... to us we would never plan to give you anything <laughs> extra so it's what you get what you're given 
There you go. Yeah. And if you guys want to uh, want to buy the T-shirt by itself, you can buy it from the Spreadshirts web Spreadshirt. Uh, sorry, Street T-shirts. Shirts. Yeah. Street Shirts website that we've been partnering with today. Um, and that's up there for you guys to do. It's yeah. in a link in the description if you want to check it out. There's a Combro Sations one and a Combro Plations one Combro as well. Combro Plations, I love the name. And I pushed really hard to get the second channel to be called yes. Combro Plations. I just, something about Combro Sations. Man. I did also change and I'm going to show people on the... Uh, so, on the... okay, Ethan, you, you, like he said, I love how specific the Super Bro Plus merch tier is, right? At $28. Now... The first time we did this, when we launched on Conversations Day, yeah. there was a ton of confusion. There we was. thought it was so obvious what the thing was, and there was a ton of confusion about what do you get, what's the tier, what's the stuff. So we made it, you made it, as clear as possible. I think everybody knows exactly what, what's what. I also added the, the logo back Maybe here, so Combro I, I do I do need to say, it doesn't look like that on the shirt because there was a contrasting issue yeah when right? you put this logo on the shirt which we do have in like a png format it doesn't it doesn't sit well the like the grain that the darkness yeah. in the middle is just so it's it, just not to you fair. guys it probably looks like there's uh like three colors right there's a back background uh yellows light bright blue and then maybe like black bleeding into the yellow yeah there's actually like five other colors in there exactly there's a exactly. lot going on to the composition of this and it just doesn't show up super great. Put it this way, I'm still getting the Combro Sations 2077. I'm freaking hyped. Yeah. It looks so good. That I was really good. Want it. I really want it. Um, has it got my messages popping up there? Let me just change that over here. There we go. All right, guys. Yeah, so that's that. Um, should we wrap up the Conversations podcast then? Yeah, did we read a lot? Did we do a lot? Oh, of no, sorry. Yeah, we've got comments. fucking more yeah, questions. I mean, I'm, I'm down, but we can keep going. I'm getting really ahead of myself there. Let me just open this up. Right Let me just quickly have a look at the chat. I don't know why I did the clicky sound there. Yeah. Chris does say that it does look lovely. I, we were hoping to get them here today so we could announce it by wearing the shirt, but because of the calamity, there were. I think they're delayed by like two or three days. Yeah. And we changed who we're doing the shirts for for this shirt yeah. to test out a new provider uh, and the timing didn't work these out guys perfectly. these guys are cheaper so that's why we went for those as well and also the quality seems a bit nicer yeah and so they here saying combo stations or combo replations that is the question and that is a tough one and so we opted for one each yeah so we got like a different you know um i want the playstation the combo replations to also have a merch from that channel i want combo replations to also have you mean different merch or a link to the merch from there, Diogo? Oh, does he mean like a, a whole new merch channel, a merch page for Combro Plations so as well? This, no, you guys probably can't see it, and I'm not going to show you all of them. I'll just go blast through it. But we have, these are all of my, uh, I hope that's focused. Uh, they can see there's a lot, but they can't yeah, see anything, right. unfortunately. These are all of our, these are all different t-shirt ideas, right? So, yeah. Um, we have a few. I know that was out of focus, boys. And anybody listening to the podcast on podcast services around the world after rating it five stars, I basically showed a notes uh, thing on my phone with like 50 different ideas for merch. We got a lot, but not not all of them are like conversations, conversations relevant. They're just some cool designs. Cool like stuff. I like my melon collie, which is like a sad watermelon or a collie made of watermelon. Like either <laughs> one of those you know, is a melon collie. Anyway. Diogo asked the question. He goes, "When we order, is it possible to choose whether we get combo stations or combo plations? If you're doing it through Patreon, I think that's what you mean. You get to tell us which one you want, and, and we'll, we'll order, order that it. for yeah, you. Yeah. Um, if you order from the website, you need to click either or of the links. Yeah. So when you click the link, you'll see which one pops up, and it will say combo stations or combo plations on it, and that's the one you get. So yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, thank you so much, uh, Fishy, my bro." He's giving us help there. One day, every syllable past con in conversations will be bro. So uh, it'll be con bro, 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 bro. That's right. There you go. We did try to figure out different branding for a lot of these things. I just feel like conversations is so good. It's terrible we, for SEO. Yeah, we nailed it as in like, oh, that's so fucking good. That's a yeah. good name. But no one's going to search for it. No. But there's, do you know what? Some people tell me that it's like, it's an, it's a, double-edged sword where it's like it's unique enough that it doesn't get mixed in with other crap yes and that if anyone does search for it you're the first person there but then no one's searching for it in the beginning yeah that's the way it is it's yeah it's like because some of these dudes like you see dudes with like million sub channels and they're like you know um john's gaming or robin gaming is a perfect example right like that is 
in terms of like how cool the channel name is, not great. It's a great channel, mm. but the channel name's not super great. But it's better for SEO, and it, you know, you have to deliver on the content, which we're not, because we suck. Yeah, we suck at that. We're just we so terrible. Let's hit up our Discord for... Yes, let's do that. Okay, so, uh, Diego wrote in... What with... the fuck? <clears throat> That was oh, me. <laughs> I wrote the end just for jokes. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? Also, because there's a delay, so I didn't see you do it. Oh, <laughs> um, so, Diogo says, uh, episode 10 questions. How do you tie up your shoelaces? I do it in the objectively correct way, which is the first picture. It goes, you hold a loop on the right. No. Hand. So, let's go. Oh, no, you... So, you hold oh, the yeah, loop. Oh, yeah, yeah, you hold the, right the loop and you go around it yeah. and pull the loop. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but some I people. I thought you were starting with a loop. You need to have that first, you know, over under. But some people do it like my sister in the second one. So where you get two loops and then you just bring them together like that. What kind of a fucking your psychopath sister, is your that? Your sister needs professional help, mate. Bro. She might turn out to be a serial killer. Yeah, that is. The fucked. fuck's that all about, what man? Jesus yeah, Christ! Fucked. I mean, she's a relative of yours, so she must be at least a little bit insane. Yeah. True. So that's um, that's pretty. Yeah, See, there's so many different ways of people doing stuff that you had no idea. Like, there's people that that wipe their ass standing standing up, or that do it wrong. Man, do you want to go? Do you want to? No. What, 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 what were the other ones? There was that. There was. Um, I think people was, that fall asleep on the toilet. Oh, that's freaking weird. Hell. Oh, there the was crumpling another, of the paper or the folding. Yeah, whichever yeah, yeah. one you go. Do you know what? I. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say there was one time where it crossed my mind to, to actually try to to crumple the paper, yeah. and I was like, nah, fuck it, I'm not a psychopath, I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna fucking allow that shit. You might be missing out, you don't know. You true, true. Um, could you Ashton, grab... this explains a lot. He says, been double looping my whole life. Ashton, that Mate. does explain a lot. What do you need, that do? does. Now I was gonna say read the comments, but you're reading it there, so that's fine. Um, do, 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 do. Double loop makes me sick, Matt. I totally agree. Okay, so D writes in, and this is a bit of a longer one, so buckle in. Okay. He goes, all right, lads, last week was interest- was an interesting experience. So I organized a, a marquee 1989 watch-along in a special Combros yeah. group chat. Yes, you did. And it was amazing. We had a ton of great laughs and a lot of sex jokes were made. The movie is basically a doll porn movie. So I just, want to, st- I just want to stop this comment right there. D did ask permission to do this. He did. And I was like, yeah, it's a community event. I'm down. What I didn't do was check out what the freaking movie was, which had I done, I would have denied. Yes. I would have been like, no, you can't do that on our channel. Go to your weird little puppet furry discords. What, what he fucking did was come in with a name that you didn't recognize. If he came in and said, guys, I want to display puppet porn all over the Mate, Discord server. <laughs> the other thing is, it's something about, I feel like because it was from 1989, I just didn't even think, like, because that could be the name of a porno, right? It could be. And I'm like, oh, well, it's from 1989. It's got to be safe for work or yeah, whatever. Like, come on. They, didn't, they couldn't do that kind of stuff back then. No, yeah. come on. Um, he continues to say, da, 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 uh, yeah, doll porn movie with clay, claymation too. Sorry for watching porn behind your back, Eddie. I'll go into the basement. You really should get back in that basement, son. Um, so anyways we're all talking and laughing in the voice chat and it was amazing and now we have started a hashtag for mark hashtag markies for movie club <laughs> i just i like you know there's all these like oh x for movie club why don't you just pick a good movie and we'll watch it right what's wrong with all you? these stupid things they're saying like lord of the rings cars justice for oh, solo ridiculous. ridiculous it's so dumb like Freaking Mario, just go away. Is it's Mario not here, you bastard? Yeah, just not happening. Solo. Not happening Dickhead. Ever. But I think Hamid, I think it was Hamid, was like, oh, uh, John Wick. Like, John Wick 4 is going to slap. Like, let's Great. do John Wick movie. Uh, freaking awesome. Yeah, let's do it. We could do John Wick. I mean, I know D can't watch it, but that's half the fun, isn't it? Exactly. So. Exactly. Also, he's put down a picture here, and it just looks. It just looks. What the fuck? There's a fucking gif. Oh my god, to check this gif. That's... There's a, a face in a wall. What the fuck? And he's fucking the, the wall. What the fuck? What the hell, Diogo? What, what the hell are you, you doing? What did we allow you to watch? Okay, so from now on... <laughs> Mario, from now on. Mario just jumped in. He's like, Justice Solo, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Solo is shit. That's it right. Is Solo true. is so shit. Uh, um, have we got any more? So next time anybody... You absolutely 100% need to clear if you're doing a voice chat with us. 
You need to tell me exactly what the film is, and I'm gonna watch it. It's I need to see it, see what it's about first. Yeah. You know how when people do stupid shit in places and they have to put up a sign that says "No riding the turkey baster" or whatever it's gonna right, be. Right. Like you know, you're like, why is this in the health and safety manual? And what you don't realize is that some dickhead did that thing. Now it's gonna have to be. I don't wipe do your community- ass with the circular saw. Some dickhead did it. Now it's gonna have to be. I want to do a community event. Does it involve porn? It's like that's gonna have to be the next question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently that, that was the circumcision scene. That's what he's... Uh, Jesus Christ. There's a circumcision scene in this movie. I... Okay. Why not? Why not? More Discord comments. Anyway, uh, Marky for Movie Club. God damn it. Okay. Well, who is it? Too. Which one is that? It is... This one's Super Daniel. This All is right. the fucking problem with our Discord. Now it's this. We don't know who any of you are. Do you know what? I don't even like you anyway. I don't care who you are. <laughs> Um, goes, if you were isekai into an anime, which anime would you like to go off to? If you pick MHA, you won't have any quirk. Okay, so you need to go into a place where... So you don't want... You probably don't want to go some... Oh, fuck. I mean, One Piece is sick because you get... So, like, this is the thing about One Piece is you get Haki. So there are people that have no... In fact, two of the main characters, like, big... Uh, his, like right hand man yeah and left hand, i guess is number two and three yeah have no special powers but hacky is like you know a force of will and that can be used as a weapon basically so that's pretty cool so maybe one piece that would be sick or um maybe something sci-fi you know like um uh i don't have too much knowledge on or, or which one would be like the sickest it to, be have in, to be in an anime like you could be like I you could go pacific rim i think he said he said kaid into a, an I anime said, i thought he said he's, if you uh, got he say kaid what yeah, oh, into, into an, an anime. anime. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, you don't have too many of them. But, I mean, you could pick a movie. I'd be down with you picking a movie. Like, I guess maybe... I guess if you're Harry Potter, you're just a regular dude then. So you don't get any special powers going in. So I think you want to go either something like One Piece or... Or you want to go, like, Pacific Rim, where there's, like, you can pilot a Jaeger. At least then I can train to be a Marine or something like right, that and right. become a pilot, a Jaeger pilot. Exactly. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. What would you... What world would you... These guys are talking about, they're like, I can't help think of this emoji, which is the uh, the cucumber emoji, when we were talking about the circumcision. But on YouTube, it looks like a, a natural cucumber, and there it's diced. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know, what world, what movie would you like to get transported into? Uh... Bear in mind, you like you don't get to If it's a superpower, then I'm just normal. Yeah, exactly. So you don't want to be the, in the DCEU. I was going to say. Or Marvel, you don't want fucking... I was I, my first Thanos thought was snapping you away in it. Fuck that. My first thought was uh, like X Men, but then you, just, you get to be a regular guy in X Men. It doesn't yeah, make yeah, sense. Yeah, exactly. It's a tough one, actually. Yeah. Who got that? Super Bleach. What would you get Isekai into? Question for the chat. And if you're uh, listening on podcast services around the world, come to the Discord and let me yeah. know which. Stick it in the anime thing room and tell me what world you'd get Isekai into. Uh shit tough one isn't it I mean he's just going to be a regular guy so but let's say I'd say John Wick then because then I could be, I could just learn off of John Wick and be like fuck I want to be a badass guy I want to be an assassin in that world yeah, that's what I want to be I suppose earn uh, coins yeah Isaac says in the YouTube I wouldn't want to be in an anime you're all weebs ah. I'm better than you and and superior to everyone because I don't watch anime because I'm not a weeb and a player Good man. I've run out of characters. Good man, I said good man. Isaac, you telling me you, you haven't been watching Anime Club? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Are you a fake fan? Are you? There we go. Um, and we got... Should I read the last question? Yeah, let's We've got the it. last question here. This one's from... Oh, we've got one more. Sorry, here we go. Uh, Adam... Uh, this is Adam Sunling, and he says... Adam the Chrissy Simp. And he's, he's got like a, a hot chick in Is that maybe? Chrissy Costanza? I'm I not sure. Do you know what? Every time I see a hot chick in a photo now, and it's just like a profile picture like that, that's I dude. think it's a dude that's been gender swapped on that app. And I'm always really cautious. I say, <laughs> the Welford boys. Oh. I would simp those two girls. Their only Both fans would get a subscription. Oh and boy. It's, 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 it's confusing to me. All right, all right. The Diogo goes, I'd get Isekai into the Combros universe. Now that's the real answer right there. We found that's the winner, the boys. Answer. There we, we go. Um, he goes, uh, when are you guys doing coops for Movie Club? Do you know about that? No, when are we doing coops? coops for Movie Club? It is Chrissy Costanza, yes. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Also, listen to Up Against the Current and remember to simp Chrissy Costanza. Yeah. 
I've not heard of Coops. No, I think um, we could do, because one of the characters in it is called Coop, we could do Basketball, which would be yeah. really good fun. That's a weird, funny thing. Have you seen it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we could do that for one of our movies. Oh, yeah, for, for one for of Discord. the, the yeah, Discord yeah, yeah. ones. Yeah, that could be cool. That could be cool. Do you have a Daniel? It's pronounced no, Cops. It definitely. It where, could be Cops. Where? Right there. It could be Cops. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. I, it did look like two O's to me. Cops. Okay. Are you doing <clears throat> Cops for Movie Club? We'd have to watch that. Uh, or see We'd what it's about. It's a Swedish yeah. cop movie. So okay. my mum watches a ton of these like Swedish Norwegian mur uh, like murder cop shows. As you do. They're so boring. <laughs> really? <laughs> They're so boring. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. It's like you know Morse or something. One of those old shitty ones from here. Yeah. But, Midsummer murders. But turn the bore into fifteen. <laughs> <coughs> like it's so oh man bad bad. Uh, our last question here is from Uncle Noli, our boy Hamid. Thank you very much. By the way, his female version as well. I haven't seen it. Hamid, tweet me your, your gender app. Send us your, your gender swap, bro. So That'd be great. Um, so we can rate it out of 10. Send us all of them, actually, on Twitter or something like that. Also, we'll, do you know what? We'll Katie, rate them on stream. Katie, let's see you as Kevin. Yes. Yeah, let's... Yes. That's what I'm saying. Let's I, see some... I'm imagining her as literally Kevin from Home Alone. Yeah. That's what I'm imagining. That's Macaulay Culkin right because there. Because, do you know what, as well? I, I think, because I know some people are pretty private with, like, sharing their face yeah. and stuff. But, but... James, what's a girl, J, Jamie, with an I? Yeah, Jamie. Ja James, well, you know, the girl Welford doesn't really look anything like him, and she's hot as fuck. Yeah. Whereas you can tweet, I would, I would bang that, you know, Wayne's Jelford there. Female Hamid goes from simping to being simped. <laughs> That's right. Okay, um, Uncle Noli Hamid says, Hey guys, just wanted to ask a serious question, which may or may not change my perspective of you. Who's better, Uncle No Lee or Seth Gamer Troy Baker? Love you guys. Damn. I feel like based on his username, we've got one of the with the the answer he believes is correct. Yeah, I think. I mean, is there any wrong answer? That's the real question. That's the real question. No right answer there. is the wrong answer. We the, at Conversations, we are a uh, we are a Troy Baker family, right? <laughs> it's I like mean, a Coke and Pepsi family. We're a Coke family. <laughs> I am, I'm go okay. Forget who. You're actually asking about Troy Baker versus Nolan no North. Troy Baker. Yeah. I'm sorry. And yeah. I know... Nolan North's great. He's great. Fantastic. He's amazing. But he's not Troy Baker. Exactly. And in fact, Troy Baker voices Nolan North. Exactly. So automatically... He... There's no wrong answer. Exactly. It's exactly right everything's there, Everything's coming up. Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. That is the last question. And that concludes episode 10 of... Conversations podcast. Our That's birthday right. podcast That's that we right. did live, and we'll I guess we'll clip this and put it up so people that miss this thing they see like a three hour, five hour show. Yeah, they're like, ah crap, I don't want, I don't like these guys anywhere near, and I don't even watch their regular videos. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. they'll sit to watch the conversations podcast. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll clip that up so you guys can have that on separately and it will also go up on podcast yeah. services a bit later and stuff like that. Um, yeah, any final things? Oh, uh, check out the Combo Relations channel. There'll be the new Cyberpunk content up yes. there and stuff like that. I'm actually that. excited to see what you have to say about it. I will say, because I've been doing Ghost of Tsushima content before Ghost comes out, Yeah, I know how difficult it is to figure out what you're going to say. Yeah, yeah. So I, I wrote... I wrote the first one, recorded it, and it's in like final editing stages. And I wrote the second one, and I was like, "This is difficult." Do you know what's this worse? This is hard. <laughs> what's even worse, because uh, it is a competition and I'm winning. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There's actually less material for Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, you're on less right there. Yeah. I've, I've literally had to recycle the same footage and just cut different bits out of it. On top of the world being bigger of Cyberpunk, yep. there's also a lot more of it than there there's, is of Ghost. Because and there's Ghost a tabletop story, game. Yes, where you can yeah. do the, the history of it. There's way more out there to look at. You can take old footage, new footage. There just isn't that much for Ghost, so it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty irritating. Yeah. What's our next thing? For you guys Let's... that are listening to the podcast, just before we end it, because this is live and we have some stuff scheduled, mm -hmm. the thing that you missed by not being here mm -hmm. is what we do next. We are going to be watching some of that sent in by our bro Ashton. Yes. He's been working very, very hard with us and a couple of the bros from our Discord server. Yeah. And... It's something really cool. I haven't I have, watched we haven't it. seen it. We haven't we seen know. it. Yeah, yeah. We know it's cool from what we've done in it and whatnot, but this is going to be very cool. For those of you guys that remember, we started something on our Discord server. 
called Bro Wars. That's right, That's right. guys. So we're going to be watching this live here on the stream. We can't put the audio out because it will uh, get copyright strikes. Yes. So you guys are going to have to watch this. Uh, uh, Ashton, are you going to be... Oh, shit, wait a minute. He made it a private link, didn't he? We can, yeah, but we can put the private link here so people can... That's true. Ashton, can you put the private link for people in the in the chat so they can all sync yeah. it and we'll all watch it together and we can get our reactions to go yeah. with it as well. Just before we do that, I want to just go to the toilet because I'm busting. I was about to say, I'm busting as well. You go. All right, I'll be quick. I'll be so quick. It's, 